I can beat the Hulk. Look. Look, hit me up, bro. What's up, bro? Look, <laughs> yo, the nigga is enlarged, right? It's not, I'm not having a fair fight with Khan. So now that, pause, yeah. now that he has grown <laughs> and enlarged, that means his man area is grown and enlarged. <laughs> so I already know what I'm going to do. Pause me now. This is pause now. Look, <laughs> I'm going to, you know, say, pause, jab him up. <laughs> I'm going to give him one jab. <clears throat> then it's two hooks. And then the final one is gonna be like an uppercut, like a, like a, uh, Heihachi uppercut. So it's like a, you know, I'm gonna jump up in the air and shit. So what? So you're I'm, t- re- I'm really gonna like piece his shit up. Pause. <laughs> so really, you're just fighting the nigga dick. <laughs> <laughs> you're not even fighting because this nigga could be jumping around in the world. Yo, 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 welcome back to another episode of No Riggers Podcast, episode number 120. I'm your host, D.W.A.K. Darius, and I'm here with one of my co-hosts. You haven't seen him in a while. You want to introduce yourself, my brother? Man, what's going on, everybody? It's been a long time, you know? Two months, I think. Two you know, two months, month and a half, you know? It's been yeah, a month long and a half. Since I've seen y'all people, but it's the one and only, the chosen one, the only one, also known as player one, also known as I'm never done because I got my player funds. You know what I'm saying? We stacking that bread. That's really what was going on. Type shit, I mean, that's bro. why I didn't see y'all for a long time. Like, I just had to handle my business, handle my life, you know? Type I'm shit, back, bro. Man. I'm back, bro. Welcome no back, bro. Welcome back. What's going on, man? You know, if you're new to the channel, subscribe, all that good stuff. Um, Happy New Year. If you're watching this, this is probably going to come out New Year's Eve, though. Oh, okay. So, New Year's Eve. So, Happy New Year's to all y'all. Um, oh, fuck y'all, New Year's. <laughs> So, we got a lot of shit. We got, you know, we dressed up in New Year's. Oh, I got shit. the bottle on me, you know what I'm saying? Apple cider, though. We we were very kid-friendly on this podcast sometimes. And actually... Yeah, we never did. <laughs> yeah. Actually, we're going to start the pot off. My mom actually gave us a Christmas present. So, I don't know what's in it. You want to read what it says? You got to do how you... <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, I think no regulars from regular Santa... Not jacking it. <laughs> <laughs> not jacking it again for regulars. We just say we don't like we don't like regulars, but we don't regulars. Bro. And regu- where's no regular Santa? Like I don't know, bro. It hit different. Bro. I think he Hispanic. Because <laughs> <laughs> you know regular Santa Claus is black, Hot bro. Chocolate bomb. Oh, there. I'm talking before the gift even open. <laughs> what the hell is it? I seen that shit on the Christmas tree. I was like, what the fuck? Hot chocolate bombs? Yeah. Oh shit! You don't even like chocolate. I don't. What that? What this? What is this? What is this? It's mean? like you put it in hot. You put in like hot water, hot milk, and it makes like hot chocolate. This is freaky. Like you, you, just, <laughs> Yo, drop, you just drop it in a. Uh, you drop it. It's like a bath bomb, and it like dissolves and then opens up. That's freaky. No, babes, bro. <laughs> hey, bro. That's like, freaky babs. But it's <laughs> tough though. I'll be honest. I've never heard about nothing like that. Really? Yeah. It's like, oh no, you know what you do? I think you put it in a mug and then you, you put the it's like a little bowl. You put it in the mug and then you pour like hot milk on it and then like it like um opens up and then it like turns into like hot chocolate, like melts into the milk and shit. Man, I ain't never seen no shit like this. It's kinda cool though. I wish I did. If it was like a, a strawberry jar, I'll go crazy. Ooh, strawberry hot what would that be? Strawberry hot milk? Strawberry, strawberry hot milk, I guess. Wait, hot straw, strawberry milk hot. Strawberry milk <laughs> yeah, hot is wild. <laughs> strawberry milk hot, like St- hot strawberry drink. Hot strawberry milk. Oh, okay. Do you have strawberry coffee? Is that a thing? No, nah, that's not a thing. I don't know. They want to steal my shit now. <laughs> they want to get rich on me. They don't got no straw. All they guys, I think all they got is strawberry milk and protein shakes. Now let's get rich, bro. What make strawberry coffee? That shit might be nasty though. Coffee not fruity though. Not though. Unless we make the coffee tasteless and we prioritize the strawberry. Wait, how the fuck is that possible? (laughs) Wait, tasteless coffee. What people get coffee for, bro? For coffee energy. So prioritize energy. Oh, and put it in like a strawberry. Prioritize strawberry. Oh, hold on, hold on. You might be onto something right now. So, so what we're going to do is you go, so it's going to be like strawberry milk, but with like energy inside. It's going to be hot. Energy drink strawberry milk, bro. Hold on. If Starbucks comes out with this shit. It's hot. I want my money. Oh my gosh, bro. 
Damn, that's a good idea. They could probably switch it up with the different flavors. Or they already got like the energy, like raspberry shit at Starbucks, don't they? What? Yeah, they got like the little refreshers. Yeah, it's like it's like, but that's like lemonade though. Let's bring the strawberry milk. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga loves himself some strawberry milk, bro. I but, can't. I don't. Something about chocolate is just like. Did you always milk. never like chocolate or? Nah. So elementary school though, I used to bust down them chocolate, milks. chocolate milks. Yeah. But I never, uh, I never ate chocolate like bars. And then one day in middle school, I tried the chocolate milk and I just couldn't drink it. Really? Yeah. And, then, and it just made you sick? And it just made me sick. You know what's crazy? I thought like not liking chocolate was like like an African thing. Because <laughs> 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 there's so many people I know that's like African that don't eat chocolate. Like Collins don't eat chocolate. I don't think like uh, my neighbor Gideon don't be eating chocolate. I don't think. He eats, does he? I don't know. I don't know if he eats chocolate. I know. I remember the one that I remember for sure is like Collins. I know he don't like chocolate. You know what I think it is though. A lot of African households we don't eat snacks. Really? Like no snacks? Like no chips? Like, no. Rarely. Like we start eating snacks like later on. Like we really eat meals. Oh really? <laughs> like snacks is a meal. Like if I want a quick little snack, I'm about it's to like- get a bowl of rice. <laughs> <laughs> I want a quick little snack. I'm about to be a bowl of rice and chicken. Like really? That's why we all be large. Like. <laughs> I mean that's good. Y'all be eating, so y'all don't eat like y'all. You growing up, you didn't have no chips or nothing like that. Yeah, we did, but, but like didn't. it wasn't like normally like you eat like like say you went to like your. To like, this day, I prefer like a me- food, food over, over a snack. Really? Even if I'm feeling the need for a snack, I'll just get a smaller portion of the food. Wow, nah, I can't do that, bro. I'll get too full, bro. Hey, but bro. like that, so like say you eat a snack before dinner, mm-hmm. you'll get a smaller por- portion of that dinner. Or you I don't make eat like a snack s- before dinner. I just get the dinner. Oh, you just get the dinner? Get the, oh, you just yeah. get the dinner early? Yes, sir. Oh. I just eat a lot of the dinner because I wanted to eat a snack. Oh, my gosh, bro. That's crazy. I ain't never even thought of that. Snacks is like, I didn't start eating because my cousin, he eats, he does eat snacks. G eats snacks. Like yeah. Oatmeal cream pies. We would go to his house and they would be in his house for years. What? He would be like, <laughs> he didn't care when we'd be at his house. Yeah. He didn't care because he know we didn't eat it. Then one day, probably like high school, we at his house, you know what I'm saying? No eats there. Like, we just showed up. No eats for all of us to eat. We're like, all right, let's see what's up with this oatmeal cream pa. And we just start eating them. What the hell? Or, or oatmeal cream cookie. That's what it's called. Is it the one with the filling yeah, inside? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah no, it's, oh, it's a yeah, pie. So then we, that's, that was like the first snack I started eating. Really? Like, if I go to the corner store, I buy a bunch of snacks that make a meal. Like, all right, what's your order? If I go to the corner store, like back in the day, right? Yeah. Because I don't really be there no more. It got to be like four of the honey buns because those shits used to be like 25 yeah, cents. Yeah, they were 25 cents. Inflation so it got to be I'm four. Just like, I'm just like And it got to be in Arizona. Okay. Oh, no, I lied. The quarter juices. Oh, the quarter waters? The quarter waters. <laughs> so I had to get about, because they was four it was a, of the Four is a dollar, nigga. And then I had to get four um chips. You ate, wait. You didn't eat all, you ate all that in one sitting? Like a one sitting. No, bro. you're bugging. <laughs> no, you're bugging. One sitting. Bro. I thought you was gonna. If that, sp- were, if that was, like, we're gonna go get food. Like that's my food now. Like, I'm like not, that's your lunch. Yeah, that's lunch type shit. Oh nah. That's what I'm saying. I don't. I don't know how it works. Like I'm not <laughs> a snack guy. Like if I go food shopping, yeah, I don't really buy the the most snack we got is chips. Okay, cause like see like for snacks, bro. Snacks is like something where. Like you're hungry, but like say it's like you eat a snack at like like two p.m., two three p.m. and it's nothing like crazy. Like yeah, a snack could be like a bowl of cereal. Like would you eat a bowl of cereal for like a snack? But that's what I'm saying. So there's no such thing as a bowl of cereal. What you mean? You like, like I'm you... gonna get one. I'm gonna come back get two. Then I'm gonna come back get three. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> you a eat... bowl of cereal really eats like. So so how so how many bowls of cereal you think you eat three bowls of cereal? Probably I had two today for breakfast. Two for breakfast? Yeah. So do, all right. So do you? All right. So <laughs> tell me, so, we really don't eat snacks. Like, so do you like eat the cereal and then the milk is left? Do you drink the milk and then go back for more? Nah. So once the milk is done, yeah. So boom, I eat all the cereal, right? Yeah. Now. I got to put some more cereal because there's milk There's still left. milk left. Okay, you know okay, okay. Now, I'm just making sure. But now if I eat all the cereal, I mean, I, I drink all the milk and the cereal left, 
I gotta go get some more, and I gotta go until the there's a balance. Wait, what do you mean? You drink all the milk? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm eating the cereal, right? <laughs> yeah. And now the milk is gone, and now I just have cereal. How is it? How, I have to go and add milk. Wait, no, 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 no. Until how there's is a that, balance. How is that possible? What do you mean? Like when you're eating cereal, like the cereal should be gone regardless. Like you ate cereal, and there's like. So no milk all, already, right? I don't, I don't fill the milk up to the top. Whoever yeah, no, does that, that's crazy. No, that's fine. But so you, I'll put a little bit of milk and more cereal. Like how much though? Like is it like to where you can't see the milk? No, you can't see the milk. Really? Yeah. Oh, it's because you want to keep it like crunchy and shit. Yeah. Oh, I don't, like soggy cereal is crazy work. One of my nah. cousins, he actually does that. Like he'll pour his cereal. Go do something, come back. So it's like soggy. Around. Yeah. Oh yeah, no, nah, I don't like that. You know, an- another thing I seen, I remember. Um, my neighbor Gideon, he used to eat hot cereal. See, that's not crazy. Like it's warming not, your cereal, my sister does that. I didn't know about that. Like, like when I was a kid, I thought it was kind of weird. But like now, I'm thinking about like I seen other people do it. But like at the time, like he gave it to me, I'm like, this is weird. Mm. Like it was like, and he don't use like milk. He use like condensed milk. Nah, that's see niggas. Uh, I don't want to use the word, but like <laughs> people would <with>, like. <laughs> Defects. <laughs> People with defects, bro. You tell me you can't drink milk. You lack oh, no. tolerance. Evaporated you milk. It was evaporated milk. What does that even mean? I bro? don't know. Like he, it was like he had to mix it with water. Bro, defects is crazy, bro. <laughs> I got one. I ain't gonna lie. I got one defect, bro. My eyes, bro. My shit is bad. Yeah, no, your eyes is bad. But they not really a defect because I still use them. No, you don't. You you use it like. Like dangerously, like you're not supposed to be like so this. It's not a defect, bro. Though that is a defect. Cause <laughs> no. Like, like it was, I want to see the world through your vision. Cause you tell me how bad it is. I really don't know how bad it is. So it's like, it's not bad, but it's I can't read whatever the fuck that is. I can't like on read. that on that white box. On that white box, I don't even know what that is. That's a. Is <laughs> it a stand? Is it a a light stand? Is no, it that? It, that's a microphone. Yeah, I don't. That's what I'm saying. Really? That's tough. So, <laughs> but, <laughs> but. I could see like that. That's a box, but that, it, that has something on the box. Oh my gosh! Really? Yeah. So if you, yeah, I, my eyes is like yo. If you would just dim the lights, dim the lights down a little yeah, bit. Yeah. If you dim the lights, that's what my eyes look like. Really? So when I put my glasses on the contacts, the world just becomes brighter. Wow. It looks the same. It's just lighter. And how often do you put your contacts in? I haven't had contacts for like. And he be driving a year. A, a year. Yeah. But do you have your glasses? No, I haven't had glasses for maybe eight months, seven months. Wow, this nigga be bugging, bro. This nigga be driving at night and shit. Yeah, I'm about to go home right after this. Yeah, no, nah, I don't know how you do that shit, bro. So, like, because, see, when you talk about defect, I think I have a defect, too. Mm-hmm. I think I, my defect is, like, I repeat what I say. Mm-hmm. I repeat my, like, I, I feel like I'm, like, a record player. I be repeating shit all the time. And I, I just realized this today. I would, I say, I, I think I talk in the third person sometimes. That's cool. That's not... That's cool. I do that too. Like, I'll be like... I was like... But I'll be saying like... It just happened right there. Like, I, like say... Say I'm driving, right? Second person or third person? Is that second person or third person? That's second person, right? That might be second person. Okay. So I'll be talking to the second person. Say I'm driving, right? Mad weird. <laughs> <laughs> say I'm driving, right? Say... Say, um... It was like a squirrel or some shit. And then squirrel cross the road has a swerve or some, something like that. And I'm telling to Jay just what happened. But she's next to me and she witnessed it. I'll be like, like, I was like this. And I just start saying, I w- like, I say I was like a lot. Oh, so you're talking about yourself. Yes. Instead of saying, nah, that's. Is that weird? Like, is that. That's not, that's not third person or second person. That might be first person. Really? Yeah. You said I did this. I'm trying to, I'm trying to think. Because there was a time. If you said, and then Darius did this. <laughs> <laughs> that's mad crazy. Like that would be like what the fuck? I'm trying to think who, who all is in here. Like? <laughs> I'm trying to think what happened. There was a time when I was ta- like, I be saying I was like so many times, like a lot. No, that's not. That's not. Crazy. Oh, that's not crazy. No, okay, okay, not. okay. I always thought it was just like, like if you would have been like, I was like, and then he was like, and you're talking about yourself. <laughs> like, so I had to go check you. Hey, like, bro, that, that defect. Is <laughs> <so dead. laughs> Nigga, what's that? That's fucking um, multi personality, whatever. This, bro, this, I, I got that, bro. What? No, you no, 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 <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. That I don't. You don't have. That's not. That's not what you got. You have just 
different personalities. I'm talking yeah, about it's multi, bro. No, 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 no. Like different person. I'm talking about like multiple like people living in your mind. That's me, bro. Nah, I don't think you, it yeah, might get I to call that. Call myself Batman. Like I don't know. <laughs> I tell women about Batman. Like that you're Batman. Yeah, for sure. Like, do they understand it or they just don't know? Some understand, some do know. But if if they know, they know. They know. Do you understand why I am the way I am? Nigga really do live his life like Batman. Hey, maybe when you're older, you might get that disorder, bro. Maybe you have it a little bit, just a slight bit. How, but I, it's controlled, though. Oh, you have it controlled, so yeah. you can bring out different things, different people whenever you Depending want. Depending on the scenario. How many do you think you have in your mind? Like, if you had, like, a guess. <laughs> Crazy. Say <laughs> about. If it's more than, like, seven, I think we got an nah, issue. Nah, not more than seven. Okay. Seven. <laughs> I said four or five, bro. Okay, four... Th- that's pushing it. It also depend. It also depends on the time. It's me. All of it is me. Yeah. So it doesn't shock people. Yeah. But it's just like so in the morning, right? I be at work. Mm-hmm. That's and work. Niggas are trying to talk to me. You ain't in the to- morning. Yeah, you ain't trying to talk to niggas. I don't talk, bro. Okay. Okay. So now a person at work may not know the UJ that you know. Oh, because you don't. Oh, I know what you mean. Like that's yeah. like like uh, okay, I know what you mean. Like that's like your work personality. Like they So it's like but it's not though, because it's a certain time at work oh, that if you talk to me I'm cool. I'm cool, I'm chilling. Ah, uh, okay, okay. I get what you mean. I get what you mean. That makes it that makes sense. That makes sense. So like someone at work, right? Show her the podcast and she's surprised uh-huh. about how I am on a pod. Really? Like, oh, you talk so much on the pod. Oh, you did like this on a pod. I'm like, bro, that's me. It's just <laughs> we are at work. At nine o'clock, ten o'clock in the morning. You don't feel like what is there? Minutes? What is for me to say, bro? Real shit. That I is just true. opened my eyes thirty minutes ago. Real shit, bro. There's nothing, nothing to talk about. So now, in the, like at work, they probably think I'm, they think I'm real quiet. They think I don't really talk to nobody. Even now like, that you've been working this long, yeah, really? Nigga, I don't talk in the morning. What? How often are you working in the morning? Nigga, Monday through Friday. Oh, really? Now don't say none. <laughs> I say maybe ten words, but my client, they they think I talk. Wow. Do your clients watch the pod, or do they know you on the pod? Probably two of them do. Two of them, yeah. oh, okay. Cause yo, I was, I forgot. I was about to forget my. So, you know, you know, my dad, my dad be with the pod. Like he always be make, he always be messing with me all that, all that stuff. But he really didn't don't understand, mm-hmm. like how like I guess much we progressed over until. <laughs> you think we just doing it? You think we old as hell just doing this shit, shit for fun, not talking to nobody, bro? <laughs> Like that's why he be mad, bro. That's funny as hell. He probably like, yep, little podcast. You know, Darius upstairs doing a little podcast. <laughs> that's what he says, yeah. bro. And I'm like, I right. until recently, it's, he told me uh, a couple of days ago. Somebody went up to the somebody went up to him in the gym saying like, oh, uh, does your son have a podcast? He was like, he was like, yeah. Well, how you know about a podcast? He's like, yeah, my son. He said his son went to the high school and played basketball in JV. I don't know who he is. I can't remember. He said he was light skinned or something. I, I gotta, I gotta see his face. I might know who he is. He said, "Yeah, me and my son, we we be watching his podcast. Like it's really interesting." And I'm like, "I'm like, oh yeah, he told you that." He's like, "Yeah." And then he now, now he's asking me mad questions. I heard him. I heard him. Just yeah. Not ask a word. So like, yo, he was asking. He's like, "So how many?" He's like, "So how do they see your podcast? They don't watch the YouTube." I was like, "Oh, they just watch clips." Mm-hmm. I was like, he was like, "Oh, so like it's like on like tic- like Twitter?" I was like, "No, we have like TikTok." He was like, "How many people like follow you?" I was like, "Like five hundred, like five hundred sixty thousand, something like that." He was like five hundred sixty thousand, and I told him this before, but he didn't he believe just, me. He didn't give a fuck, bro. Yeah, but now when niggas <laughs> start, <laughs> yeah, that is a clip. But all right, bro, when he started, like, we're that five hundred sixty thousand. That thousand. That's the next. That's the next <laughs> yeah. step. I gotta, I gotta yeah. make it to there. Now, yeah. now he's like, damn, hold on, he got people actually because this is it's not like the kid; it was the dad. Yeah, that's tough though. That so I was tough. like, damn, that's actually kind of fire. No, that is tough. Shout out to you if you're watching this right now, bro. Appreciate y'all, bro. Yeah, but. Bro. I, Put it in the comments. I don't know who y'all are, but I need to. I, I feel like I have an idea, but I really don't know. But he was saying like they'd be talking about some play JV while you was on verse. Yeah, when I was a senior, he might have been like a sophomore or junior. I can't remember who he was though. No, he feared that. <laughs> <laughs> Niggas is so bad, bro. Niggas not gonna know what to do when we really get some you know, followers. Nah, I'm already the, like somebody like me, bro. I'm going to jail off niggas for like being two <laughs> fanboys. Like if niggas walk up to me. You got to be on some cool shit. Like, you have to. I'm going to make a joke. Like, I do. Trust me. You know me, bro. I love the stardom, bro. Mm-hmm. But, like, for me, oh, my God, bro, I fucking love you. 
You're wildin', bro. <laughs> you gotta come on some shit like, yo, bro, fuck with that pod, my nigga. That shit what if cool. the nigga like 12? You still gotta be on that, because I was on that when I was 12. <laughs> yeah, it's a new day and age, bro. These, like, we used to, we looked up to, like, niggas on TV. Now these niggas, look, they look up to normal niggas that be walking around. Weird, that's crazy. That's not crazy work, but it's crazy work. Because there's, like, famous people that, we from, Jersey's different, though. Yeah. Like, we kind of, it's weird. Mm-hmm. Like, you won't see us posted on no Jersey pages, the little meme pages, nothing. Yeah. Even though we busting, you will not see us nowhere. Mm-hmm. Because Jersey don't support. really support Jersey. It's On those pages, you'll see Krishan Rock. Why the fuck is Krishan Rock and Blueface being posted? That's what, that is real shit, though. I ain't gonna <laughs> yeah. lie. That is some real shit. We right here, 10 minutes from you, or even in your town. I don't know where the fuck y'all mm-hmm. from. But they're from North Jersey, because a lot of their shit that they talk about is North Jersey stuff. Yeah. So they no further than 20 minutes from that's yeah. what I, that's what I'm saying. Like I remember, I was listening to you know Albie Alves, right? Where I seen so, you that. seen that one, right? What he was talking I about? Seen where, that. What he was where. saying, like Jersey really don't support niggas for real. He was yeah, saying like where. he was saying like yo, when Nipsey died, like Cali had that nigga back, or whatever. Like they were supporting like his wife and whatever. While he was alive, Cali <laughs> hold him down just because he was from California. Exactly, and now it's like we have Fetty Wap, who was the. The one of the only niggas that went mainstream, mm-hmm. and like when he started falling down, niggas like left that nigga to dirt, left that nigga to dirt. Even, that nigga I ain't gonna front, even when Fetty was out and like hot and booming, I still don't think Jersey supported him. No nah, not as much because Jersey don't like it's a lot of envy, so they it don't is. like really creating stars. If that makes sense because niggas will feel like it should be them. So even with the podcast, yeah, there's niggas that are halfway supported. Mm-hmm. Because they feel like, oh, I could do that shit that they doing. They ain't really. I don't get it though, like mm-hmm. because, like you don't see that happen in New York, and you know how niggas in New York be yeah, niggas in New York yeah. be mean as hell. Yeah. Philly, Philly, they love they people, yeah. bro. Oh my god, if you blow up out of Philly, bro, they all love you. They bro. all love. They, they in all your love business. You. They all. Love they know you, who bro. you fucking. They know who your mom is. They know everybody, everything. bro. Yeah. With P and B Rock, Meek Mill, they yeah. love them niggas. Yeah. Like just because they're from Philly, he, not even. Good or bad, whatever you're doing, they're talking on it. So yeah. they keep your name alive. Mm-hmm. That will not happen in New Jersey. That's what like, I be saying Sue Surf has a lot of talent. Mm-hmm. But it seemed like people feel like he's too reachable, right? Mm-hmm. He, same with Fatboy. People feel like he's too reachable. You could go somewhere and see them niggas around. Like, yeah. chilling, laughing, mm-hmm. having a good time. Surf not even moving like... He's Sue Surf. Mm-hmm. Like he's one of the best. He's just moving like a normal best, person. Rappers ever. He moves like a normal person. Yeah, that music is music tough. Everything. I just don't. I don't get it. Like, but it's I'm. A, I ain't gonna lie. Like, I'm not a part of it. Like, like yeah. if I see a famous person or a person coming up from Jersey, I act like that is like it, it, it's just, <laughs> I don't know what I it is. Like, just how it is, is bro. Yeah. So if you really make it out, you really make you it. Really out. Make you it out. really make it out. Cause besides, it's, besides ball players, besides basketball, yeah, hooping but, is different. But even so. That's not it's if, cool. with Hoopers, if you don't make it like LeBron level, niggas don't give a fuck. Like exactly. if you don't make it all star level, niggas don't give a fuck. You could be as good somebody like Nas Reed, right? Yeah. Niggas see Nas Reed all the time. Like, he mm-hmm. be at basketball events and shit. Yeah. No one's going up to him and be like, yo, Nas, you nice. Niggas would never do that. <laughs> Whole time and everybody mom, we like, bro, this nigga's dumb nice. Like yeah. he's where he's supposed to be. I've seen him a million times. Oh. I would never go up to him and be like, yo, I'm a fan. In my life, yeah, that's that's I really. How, that's I talked really, to her like, like I've been knowing him for mad long. That's really just like, how we are for real, yeah. though. That's crazy. <laughs> like, yeah. I don't know if that's just how we grew up, or that's just how we just been like used to things. We've been programmed that way, bro. It's it's weird. Like I feel showing like this, support is weird. Yeah, that is true. Showing support well, is well, real Rod, weird. You know, niggas on Dick Rod. That's true. That's like number one thing. That is true. Like number one thing. It's it's crazy because even the kids are like that. Yeah. Where it's like the kids are too cool. Like I'm mm-hmm. asking even my little cousin asked him like, yo, you watch the pod? Like, yeah, I seen it a couple times. So I go on his thing. I'm like, bro, come subscribe. The nigga is subscribed and I see hella red. So he's <laughs> watching the shit. I don't I don't know, I'm bro. Like, what the fuck? I don't know. I really I really do think like this might be the, the biggest like the most hating state <laughs> in nah, the country, it might bro. Be, bro. It might like, be. It's really scary. It's like honestly, like everybody knows that like, New York is known for niggas that's like assholes and shit. Mm-hmm. But they support niggas. They support niggas. We even just, if it's that's what I'm saying. They'll keep your name alive even if they dislike you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And that's a way of 
So two niggas beefing. Mm -hmm. They're beefing, but they're still bringing each other up with the beef. Mm -hmm. That shit don't happen here. Like. I don't know, bro. Even even if, bro, that's why more niggas, they, they don't say they're from New Jersey. They say from, like, they knew, they from New niggas York. Niggas be putting, that's what I'm saying. But it's a lot of self-hate in New Jersey, bro. <laughs> yeah. you putting NY, NJ in your, in your bio, bro? You've been here for 15 plus years, bro. Like She's SZA. Jersey, they be bro. thinking SZA from New York. SZA right yeah, down the street. She's from around the way, bro. She from right down the street. So, but that's what I'm saying, like, Niggas, I don't know. It's weird, bro. I don't understand. I really don't get it. Like, I don't, like, it's like, this is like the only place in the world. So, niggas, even so, right? Niggas will take somebody, like, famous from Jersey or, like, coming up on this, like, yeah, I know that nigga. I went to school or something. Yeah. yeah like, school just, like, bro, he be around, bro. The, just to, like, downplay whatever a nigga got going on. Or, like, call Ray. They be like, bro, she not from Nook, though. So, niggas don't really, like. That's what I'm saying. That shit is craziness. I don't know. It's just. Uh, somebody they, still, they still want you to rep Jersey, though. They still they do. still want you to rep Jersey, but they not gonna support you. That's real shit, bro. <laughs> That's some real shit, bro. It it really be weird, bro. I don't know. Maybe it's really just how we grew up, bro. I just feel like it was just the environment. We just been like, think of the dick riding shit when we was kids. Like, yeah, it's just like, nah, you just you can't do that, yeah, bro. You can't I never forget, son. WWE <laughs> superstar came into school, son. There, <laughs> it was WWE. Like, he was like, it was a point in time where like, he was in, like a big story in WWE. Like, yeah. And I know a lot of niggas in the school are fans of WWE, or they were fans. Mm -hmm. A nigga said to me, well, it ain't Triple H. <laughs> <laughs> that shit was crazy. <laughs> that shit was crazy. <laughs> I think he graduated from the high school or everything, or he was from, like, the area, and he knew Carp. Really? Nigga said, well, it ain't Triple H, and walked right past him. Bro, that's probably... You, you, know what it, you know what it is, bro? That's probably how it is for a lot of shit. Because I remember we used to have a lot of, like, guest speakers that were played in the NFL. Yeah. I don't remember who the fuck they were. Because I was like, they not remember, Tom Brady. I remember one. They not Brandon Jacobs. <laughs> Yo, Darnell Stapleton. You told me about that yeah, nigga. that's the only one I remember, bro. So he played in the NFL? Yeah. Wow, yeah, bro. He was from, he went to Franklin and everything. That's crazy work, bro. I'm trying, that's really wild, bro. Dang. It's like niggas don't rep their own, first of all, they don't rep, niggas don't rep where they really from. Yeah. That's the no, one thing. That's a fact. Niggas don't rep. That's a fact. <laughs> Bro, niggas be going to school in, in front of you. Niggas be going to school in Union. Of course, like, a lot of us wasn't, like, bred here. Yeah, yeah. Like, we eventually moved here from somewhere else. Mm -hmm. But niggas will dead not say they're from you. Even though you've been in the school system. For years. For years. Years. <laughs> niggas niggas will say they're still not from here. Or if you're going to say you're from somewhere else, be like, I'm from here and Union. Like, yeah, they do do that shit. Or union in here, but niggas. Or they'll say, I was born here, but I live in union. union. Like, yeah. nigga, we didn't ask all that. Where, Where the you fuck from? you live? Where, where does everybody know you at, bro? It's like they, like, go to the nearest, like, big city. Big city. Like, they be like, oh, I'm from Newark. I'm not going to lie, though. So, now that I live in South Jersey, nobody knows union. Oh, really? Like, so, I have to be, like, 10 minutes outside of union. I mean, uh, 10 minutes outside of Newark. Oh, I, okay. So, okay, I get what you mean. That hey, that makes a lot. That makes yeah. some sense. But I'm talking about, like, niggas that's, like, coming up or, like, niggas that's, like, either, like, athletes or whatever. Oh, niggas, yeah, they they always say Newark, bro. Yeah. You from North, if, they, if they from North Jersey, they're going to say Newark. If they from South Jersey. No, South Jersey, I feel like they'll say they their town. They claim they little town. They claim they, they town. They, they'll claim they'll claim the, they'll, town. they might. Some niggas might put Philly. Yeah. But, like, I feel like. That's true, too. Some niggas might put Philly. But I feel like most of the time they'll claim their towns in general because there's not really much down there. Like, niggas don't want to claim Camden. I feel <laughs> I feel like up here is either they're going to claim Jersey City. Yeah. They're going to claim Newark. Newark. Patterson. Patterson, yeah. I feel like there's one more we're missing. Orange. 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 One of the oranges. One of the oranges. Yeah, either one of the oranges. Either East Orange or Orange. orange. Not West. Word. Not South. <laughs> niggas never going to say that. Yo, niggas never claim South Orange. They will never claim South yeah. Orange. I didn't even know there was a South Orange. I forgot. But I don't know nobody that claims they from I thought South, orange. South orange was Maplewood. Or is it like the same thing, niggas technically? Niggas might fuck around and be like, I'm from Maplewood. It really be from South, South Orange, you know? <laughs> That's crazy, bro. Like, niggas really just be lying, bro. Just put it like, I don't know. And it's like, because I know, because I know South and West Orange, that's where the rich people live. Mm -hmm. So they niggas. So that's, you know, niggas never want to be a crazy mindset, though. <laughs> niggas never want to be associated with the rich. Or the suburbs. Tell niggas right now. I love it. <laughs> I do not want to be associated with niggas, bro. No. Nah. the only thing that be associated with niggas is like, I got one of my, he probably going to watch this shit, bro. He be like, every time, he be like, bro. We went we went to Cap, bro. It was nothing like that Catholic school. He said that shit all the time. I was like, nigga, you wasn't happy to be there, bro. What, Catholic school? You know our Catholic school was dab in the hood. It was still like, 
Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He still was, you know, in a way, at a Catholic school, but it was still a hood school, like mm-hmm. to be honest. But it's like he be talking about, yeah, I had to fight, man, niggas. I had to do bad shit. Who the fuck wants to do that? <laughs> like, who want to fight for their life, and get shot at? That like that shit. None of that stuff it's is not cool. Like, it's good to me. Like it's not cool to me. Like it's like. I don't want to die. I don't, I don't want to be in a position to die every day. Like I don't. I don't want. Like, I don't want to be in a position where I gotta look over my shoulder every mm-hmm. second of the day, or I gotta be like I gotta worry about going outside. I don't like that. I Niggas mean, at that the same cool. time, I feel like everybody does need something like that. Some for some form of that. I'm not saying to the highest degree. Yeah, nah. Where like I won't keep my. Like, I'll have my. If we live in a suburb, yeah, I'll have my kid playing sports in the hood. Oh yeah, that's fine. That's like, that's. I feel like that's like a given though. Like I mean, yeah. at least how we know, because it's like it just builds toughness. Like, oh, yeah, you got you have to. You, you got to learn that, and it's like maybe I think I don't think it might just be awareness at that point. Mm-hmm. Like you need to be aware of certain things and certain like types of people and certain situations, and you need to like the only way you're gonna like learn that is just to be in that situation. Like it don't mean you got to be in it all the time, but if you like experience some of the things, like if you like you said, like you go bring your kid and let him play in the hood and shit like that, they'll yeah. understand yeah, yeah. type of shit. I feel like that makes it more culture too. Well, it it <laughs> does. Like like me personally, I'm yeah. very well rounded. Like a lot of people, are like how you know this person? How you know this person? Like I just used to just be everywhere as a yeah. kid. Like my mom wasn't even though we lived like in Union. My mom wasn't afraid to send us to the Boys and Girls Club in North. Yeah, yeah. Or send us to camp in Irvington because mm-hmm. she wanted us to build like a a toughness and a connection to here too. Yeah. Or we spending weekends or weeks at my grandma's house. Yeah. Right there in Irvington. So there's a lot of people, I think I've said this, a lot of people think I'm from Irvington. Mm-hmm. Well, I, sometimes I do say it because like I spent a, a lot, lot of time, time there. there. Yeah. So there'd be, I'm going outside to play Yeah. in Irvington. Like I didn't go outside to play in Union until like high school or eighth grade or middle school. Eighth grade, freshman year. Eighth grade. See, yeah. I ain't going to lie. I, was, I didn't like playing in the hood, bro. My dad used to put me in basketball leagues in the hood. I didn't like that shit. Bro, that's the, that's Hell the, that's no. The, I, yo, I did not like that shit. <laughs> yo, I remember we was in the, we was in the, I was in the Lincoln Park Basketball League. First of all, I knew, first, I, I this is like maybe seventh or eighth grade. I played one game, never went back. Because one, I don't know nobody out there. Mm. So I'm out here trying to get buckets and niggas, I, the, first of all, I don't know who my coach is. I don't know who the hell this nigga is. Mm. There's like dust all over the court. I'm about to bust my ass and shit. I, I don't care about that, but I just don't know. I don't know who these niggas are. Yeah. So me, I you know me, I get mad sometimes. So I don't know, like, if I get mad at the wrong nigga, because I don't... Nah, he's lying. He doesn't give a fuck. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> That's this what... nigga dares to crash out no matter where we are. <laughs> we literally was playing basketball with a bunch of hood niggas in North, bro. I had, <laughs> I had to call him niggas. I was like, bro, he chilling, bro. He just, he passionate. He doesn't even know that. I had to chill. I had to tell the nigga, like, yo, bro, he go, bro. He, Cause I mean, they, the hood niggas relate to me. I don't be like, <laughs> I have to tell you, that, bro. He chilling. Yeah, bro. I don't he, care, for bro. He's not on that. He just playing basketball. So, what you say? I'm, <laughs> yeah. I'm a dark skinned nigga playing basketball. Yeah, dark skinned nigga, skin nigga playing basketball, bro. bro. But when I, I gotta turn into the light skinned nigga, that's when you know what's going on. <laughs> it was just, bro, bro. And it was like, for, and it was like, it was just mad, like unorganized. Mm. And I just, it was just not for me. I, I played one game. I remember my dad was like, "You want to come back?" I was like, eh, "Nah." I, like I feel like if it was like more like organized mm-hmm. and it was a little less like i feel like niggas was just pulling up out the streets and just like hopping in the I game mean, that's, kind of that's i mean that's is. cool but like at the time i was just like man i don't feel like like coming and, and you know how i'd be if i'm yeah. ass yeah. i'm a i'm gonna think be like i'm gonna think about it and i'm like dang imagine i keep playing ass and they're just gonna just think i'm ass that was the first time i really i was like damn i'm not coming back i, I was either seventh or eighth grade i can't remember what year that was yeah. But that was the first time I was like, yeah, no, nah, I'm not playing no leagues. I remember we used to play for AU. We used to play in like some Nike Swish League in uh, Staten Island or some shit. But like that wasn't nothing. But that, but those, oh shit. Those aren't the shit. They were taking us for. No, you cool. But those aren't like, uh, those are like, I feel like I said, those canon events. So now yeah. that's how we want to get into it. Oh, okay, go ahead. So boom. What do you feel like is every boys or most boys like can an event, teenage can event, grown man can event, just can an event. Every man it has, has to. Ha- it has to happen. It has to happen. I think all boys must go through a phase where they either it's always it's like they fi- it's like they find a girl <laughs> that that one. Women, that, that's, that's it's, it's always the women, bro. It's always, it's always the women. 
it's like uh, the first it's it's the first one though. But I feel like it like I don't feel like middle school don't count. It's like high school. Boy, that shit count. You think so? <laughs> Yo, that shit that shit count, is, I, okay, okay. I'll say not like fifth it grade though. It don't count heavy, but if it happens badly, like say you're one of them boys who invest early, like one of the early learners, quick learners. Yeah. So you learn about love and you learn about <laughs> what it means to give a girl flowers and make a girl feel special. Yeah. Get your first kiss, your first, you know what I'm saying? Early on, uh-huh. and that shit happened, bro. That is true. <laughs> that is true. Yeah. So I feel like, you know, I'll say, I'll say eighth, seventh, eighth grade, like seventh in middle school. Middle school is fine. So I feel like all boys have to go through something like traumatic that deals with a girl. Like either it was their girl, either that they had a big crush on them and they just didn't like them no more. They didn't, they made him feel embarrassed. Like they try to ask him like, hell no, I don't want to go without you. You ugly or some shit like that. <laughs> some shit like that. Or they had a girlfriend. <laughs> they had a girlfriend yeah, that they thought fact. they was going to be together forever. Mm. Then they break up with them in like, in like six months or whatever, yeah. because of whatever, they, whatever it may the case be some shit in that nature. Or maybe they're just like, they like some girl mm-hmm. and like, some shit happens. Something bad happens with a girl. I feel like that every boy would have to go through that. I agree. I agree 100%. And you can tell the kind of niggas that it happened to way too late. <laughs> yes. Like, say they got invested into a girl, like, in their 20s. Yeah. And they're now they're now first getting their first heartbreak. Yeah. They're fucked. Yeah. You don't know how. You're crashing out at 25, <laughs> bro. You got work in the morning. You want to crash out right yeah, now. Yeah, that is real shit. That shit. You got bills to pay. You can't be home. <laughs> You gotta get up and go to your job. <laughs> Niggas still be crashing. Yo, that's what I'm saying. Like, you gonna crash out? You're gonna go to jail. It's not like you could say your girl cheated on you. That's that could be one of the. You know what I'm saying. Yeah, she cheated on you. You can't even go fight somebody. You go fight somebody, bro. You're going, you're going to jail. jail. <laughs> you're going to jail. You're not getting suspended from school. Like you going to jail. Niggas don't realize yo. that that is an assault, my nigga. Yo. And niggas can really you're go done, to jail. Word. They don't know that. Word. Especially you see a nigga black out. Oh, it's over. Oh, it's for over sure. for you. Bro, I, that's what I'm saying. Like, I feel like, I, what do you think is a proper age for that to happen? I'll say like 16, <laughs> 15, 16 nah, would be a I good would age. Say from 13 yeah. to 17. 13 to 17? Yeah. Like, that's a good. I don't, I don't want, that shit happen in college because you got you to gotta take time to, you know what I'm saying, come down from it. Yeah, it so should take If it happened in college, damn, you wasting one year of college. Like, yeah. Or a, it, a few months in college. It could happen in college. I mean, it shouldn't happen in college. Cause I feel like at that point, you just like, I feel like niggas know what's going to happen. At the same time, niggas tell niggas that when you get to college, bro, you got to bone him up. You got to, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. So niggas are going to college. Most boys go to college with a, you know what I'm saying, mentality. Even you. <laughs> I did. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right, niggas going to cap. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, yeah, but you had a you had a little moment of like, yo, I'm out. Like, yeah, nigga, it's lit. <laughs> but you end up getting, a, whoa, you end up getting, a, <laughs> you end up getting a girl yeah. as soon as you said, yeah, nigga, it's lit. Yeah, it was unlit. Yeah, true. You y'all niggas was, hey, hey, I'm talking to you. <laughs> this nigga sick. <laughs> y'all niggas, you was fuck it, bro. We on the pod, bro. We tell the truth on the pod. <laughs> niggas, I right, D, I was DMing. Y'all was, you know what I'm saying? You was sliding, you know what I'm saying? The bitches yeah. DMs and shit like that. It wasn't hitting. He was... <laughs> <laughs> Boy was not shooting on a good percentage, but he was shooting them. Because when they could first get into the college, they like, bro. I actually was... I, I wasn't shooting, bro. You wasn't... Bro, you was shooting. You bro. know, I'm a picky nigga. But you was... The ones that you was picking, <laughs> if the shots wasn't hitting, bro. I'm very strategic with my, shoot, with my, my, with my shooting, And, and it was... Dang, I'm talking too much. This <laughs> nigga is crazy. <laughs> yeah, but it, it hit different though. But like I'm saying, that's what I'm saying. It's like all boys, but it, that's what I'm saying. It's a canon event because they can go so many different they routes. They could go so it can go many, so please, many different word routes. Word. They could go, ah, I broke my heart, alright, bro. Now I'm a whatever I did to this, whatever she did to me, I'm gonna do the hell of bitches right now. I'm gonna break mm. their hearts. Or you could be like, dang, now I'm gonna get my money, I'm gonna go do some shit with myself. Mm. Or you could be like, uh I'm sad. I'm trying to go back together with her. Keep going back, back and forth for no apparent reason. Mm-hmm. Or it's like, oh, now I don't want to do nothing. I'm all sad and depressed. There's like so many Damn. different, so many different like pathways you can go from that one See, event. So that's why I feel like I got another K 
Ken Nevert. Yeah. Which is not every boy, but it's... Good amount. 90%. Oh, I'm afraid what you're going to say. <laughs> 90%. So, athletics. Mm-hmm. Every boy or most niggas come to that realization, we ain't going to the league. <laughs> that is true. Yo, I'm not going to lie. Niggas have to have that realization that they ain't going to the league. So. But either, not even going to the league. Like, like let's, let's simple it down. Like, not even playing after where you, where you at right now. We Word. Like you, yeah. you realize you're not going to league probably like, like <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, like ninth grade year. That's when you swear you about to go to the NBA, <laughs> bro. That's what like, but <laughs> you, yo niggas, niggas don't get no burn on the freshman team. They be like, yo, bro, I'm about to transfer to the nearest Catholic school, bro. Yo, niggas, and they don't do that. <laughs> they don't do that, bro. Bro, I, that's why I feel like tenth grade you realize, all right, bro, I'm not going to the. I, no, no, junior year you might realize like, all right, if I'm not ranked right now, I might not go to the league. But like senior, like tw- like junior year, summer, bro, you uh, know you're not. Now you're looking at <laughs> one of these colleges that you could possibly go to. Exactly. And then you're looking at your college list, and it's just dwindling. And it just going down. They go, go from, but I probably go D one. So I fuck around go D two. I fuck around go D two. Niggas don't say D three. They say JUCO. Ju- I'm gonna take the hey, JUCO route. Go JUCO, and then niggas don't end up going JUCO. JUCO. <laughs> they go right to a D three. And I even. And then some niggas. Just, don't even go, <laughs> don't go to college. We don't even go, don't hoop. go hoop. Like bro. no, they, they just end it right there. You bro. just stop, sir. Like this is when I I came to my. You can say yours. Like when I came to my realization, it was <laughs> so I like I said I was one of them niggas that grew before everybody. Yeah, and I was a little smarter and wittier when it came to the basketball. So I was bigger, yeah, and smarter. Mm-hmm. But I say like from eighth grade when I went to a school, yeah. And they didn't have a basketball team. Mm-hmm. And then I'm on the internet, and they're talking about ranked eighth grader doing this, ranked eighth grader, ranked eighth grader. I'm like, <laughs> niggas don't know me. <laughs> now I'm motivated. <laughs> ninth grade come. Getting I'm in the uh, ninth, eighth grade summer. Because, you know, ninth yeah, grade yeah. coming. I'm Getting waking gym. up five in the morning, bro. <laughs> I'm ready to hoop. Like, Oh, my gosh, bro. Then I'm like, wait a minute. Niggas start leaving to go to like different schools and shit. Yeah. And when they're going to these schools, they're starting. Yeah. Niggas don't know me. <laughs> Nigga got no I go to the berries. Niggas don't know me. And then there's a nigga that first first day of practice, bro. Yeah. Like he, you know, he's sitting bars like he's. Mm-hmm. They this that's who they see as the. So my mom, I'm about to kill this nigga, bro. I'm about to kill this, bro. I couldn't move. <laughs> he had me here. Huh, huh. I'm like, dang. All I could do was be taller than everybody. But by the end of that semester, everybody start growing. Niggas start growing. Oh my god. So that's why I'm like, oh yeah, this shit. This shit. This shit it's, it's now it's over. Ninth grade, I knew it like yeah, it's over. Like league or college? So I'm still thinking I could go to college. For okay, 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 okay. When I knew it was over for college was when I transferred to Union. Yeah. And I didn't play. Ah. Uh, that's what I was like. Yeah, it's done. It's done. It's done yeah. <laughs> bro, I think for me, bro, going in ninth grade, bro, my <laughs> I put a goal for myself. I was like, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be picking my D one university in the middle of the gym. <laughs> I'm gonna have the hats. It was gonna be Florida. I think Rutgers, Yukon, <laughs> and fucking Kentucky. And I was gonna like I had it all planned out. Once it hit like sophomore year and I wasn't getting like we play AAU and we wasn't I wasn't getting like nothing and I'd be seeing niggas get offers, I'm like, damn. This might not happen. Mm-hmm. And then senior year, when I when I didn't get nothing, like I didn't get nothing like that junior year summer, I didn't get no college coaches asking for me, whatever, this, that, that. I'm like, dang, I got to apply to schools. Apply to schools and talk to the Talk niggas. to the coaches. Yeah. And I'm like, dang. That's when I was like, ah, right, you know, I, could, I think I could go D2. That was the beginning of the basketball season. At the end of the basketball season, I'm like, yeah, dang, I think it's over. That's why it just dropped. I was just like, Ooh. yeah, I might not even hoop no more. That, the morale goes, the morale will go every down, Every kid. Every kid, whatever it's basketball, football, soccer, whatever you play, yeah, you have that one summer where you dedicate yourself to the craft. Oh my god, bro! I'm talking about five, <laughs> bro. Me and Ish used to be at the Y yeah, at five a.m. in the morning doing dedicated, drills. Dedicated, bro. Doing drills. I used bro. to wake my cousin Leah. Wake him up four o'clock in the morning. Yeah, we out. Go to go to the court. We I'm just not doing lie. drills. We hooping. <laughs> You know it's crazy, bro. If I would have dedicated myself into like an actual better skill for life, I'll be rich. Yeah. <laughs> That's wild. Shit crazy, bro. <laughs> Nigga, the most... Bro, they set us up, bro. <laughs> they told us black kids that we were supposed to be athletes, and they set us up, bro. Why am I not a doctor? Exactly. Why, why am I not investing <laughs> yeah. in the crypto, bro? 
Why, why, why do I not know? Why nigga, do I not finesse niggas to invest in the crypto? Like, why am I not a finesse right now? Nigga, I used yeah. to wake up at 5 in the morning. Me and Ish go to the Y. We be there from 5 a.m. to 10 o'clock at night. Just at the Y. Lifting weights, hooping, eating lunch. Like, imagine if I put that towards something like that can make money. Yeah. Nigga, that's the, that's the, I feel like that's, that's the you, thing, though. You don't know? We thought it could. Make we thought it could money, make his bro. money. It did not, bro. <laughs> that shit did not work, bro. We thought it could. We thought it could. You know what it is, and bro? Even the, even the niggas that, that transfer four or five schools, cuz. Exactly, bro. They reclassed and shit. Reclassed and shit. You reclass. Yo, oh. the niggas that reclassed in high school and it was over. Yeah. This is, what's the point? Like You just did that you for no reason. You just stayed back for no reason. Niggas thought they was really going to the league, but just because he was a little bit taller than us in eighth grade. Now it don't that look. That shit crazy. Now look, now look at you, bro. Look, you the same place we at right now, bro. That shit is crazy. You know what it is, bro. I I kind of blame like, Loki. I blame YouTube, bro. <laughs> you know I blame YouTube, my nigga. You know why? Cause that nigga Seventh Woods came out with a hoop mixtape when he was in eighth grade, Great, dunking yeah. on niggas. And I'm thinking, damn, that's where I gotta be. Yeah, yeah. niggas. Di- Yo, now I'm, I'm on the steps doing a little you know, Yo, cat raises. And shit. Nigga, I was I'm running. Get right. I was running miles, yeah, bro. That- Box <laughs> jumps. <laughs> Nigga, I was doing everything I possibly can to get my... I bought... You know how much vertical shit I bought? Like, yeah. jumping machines? Yeah. Nigga, I bought some shit. You, I don't even think it worked for real. It I'm looked sure like... you put it around your calves and you, the ankle weights? No, nah, it's not ankle weights. It's like something... It's like a It's like a band thing. It's like you put something on your wrist and your waist and you connect to your ankles and you just jump. It's supposed to resist you and shit. But that shit... I, I know exactly what you're talking about. That shit don't resist nobody. That shit don't do nothing, bro. Yeah. Nigga, I used to have... You know, you remember... I don't know if you remember the shoes that... The platform shoes that used to make you stay on your tippy toes. Yeah. I used to have them shits, bro. That's dedication to Nigga, the Nigga, I had bro. them shits. I don't even think... I think it was a hand-me-down. My cousin mm. gave it to me. I was so... I'm like, yo, I'm about to be able to dunk like this, nigga. Mm. Nope. That's like... That's what I'm saying. There was like no like YouTube, social media. I think I would have been... I think I would have been like a little more... Calmer, <laughs> yo, that's damn. That's really how it is, bro. That's really how it is, and it's really scary. Like that's how, that's the reason. Like YouTube is motivating niggas. Like no, no, think about it like this now, right? Mixtapes is not really a thing. Kids are watching Mr. Beast and niggas like that are making money. This next generation of kids gonna be rich. Oh yeah, nigga, they already doing yeah. coding, bro. They yeah. about to be rich. They teaching you how to make brand. Like that's why we didn't have that. We had basketball and football. Niggas was watching fucking Seventh Woods and Austin Reeves mixtapes and fucking uh, Tavon oh, Austin mixtapes. The nigga from West Virginia that was that there was like one football college mixtape. Niggas was watching him. Yo, and th- that's who they that's who we wanted to be. That's just so crazy. I'll never forget, bro. It's eighth grade. I'm watching Isaiah Briscoe mixtapes. Yes, and emulating because I'm a big guard too. Yes, so I'm like, I bet. Big guards, we up. So I'm just gonna copy everything another big guard do. Mm-hmm. So I, <laughs> it's wild, bro. That shit is so crazy. So crazy. So it's not even teaching. That's what I'm saying. It's not even teaching you the actual basketball. It's just showing. We're you. learning highlights. <laughs> We're Who learning- was the first generation to learn oh, highlights? Exactly. Niggas was doing. Niggas was taking notes from highlights. Damn, it's really a crazy world. But now the now the new generation is looking at how to start a business, how to make a clothing brand, how to invest See, in the crypto and NFTs and all that. They got to grow up seeing oh NFTs. I don't know what the fuck I don't that know is. What that shit is. Damn, are we? I can tell you what a jab step. Uh, get into <laughs> it now. I show you how to get into your bag. Damn, we old as shit, bro. That that yeah. made it sound. That made me sound yeah. old, bro. Because you know how when your dad be like, man, I don't know what the fuck that shit is. What's yeah. Twitter? Nah, we now nah, we tweeners though. Oh, like, like we the, almost up. Oh damn, that's crazy! Yeah, almost, uh, like like that's... my nephew texted me like "Merry Christmas, uh. Um. <laughs> damn, son. <laughs> it's like, damn, that man. unk, bro. Merry Christmas, unk. Uh. It's crazy. I'd be like, "What's up, Neff? Nah, nigga, hit me with the unk. Uh. Nah, unk, Several bro. Several times. Oh my gosh, oh, man, bro. It is what it is, bro. That it hurts, bro. So it... now, now we since we, you know, what I'm saying into it. Like, do you have a, do you have another one or no? What? Uh, Canon. No, no, that was that was the only Canon events. I, I got. do have I do have one Canon event. Bro. What it was? You know what I'm saying? The, the freakies. I do feel like. Every <laughs> what the guy, fuck this nigga about to every say? Guy, you gotta bust that. You gotta bust that. You know what I'm saying? You gotta you uh, gotta get what off. Bro. Like like just have every, sex or no? Just gotta oh be something. It just gotta come out. Like every <laughs> boy has to experience. My that. shit came like a surprise. That's what I'm saying. The little the the dream. No, was it wasn't a dream? I was I was wide awake. 
don't know what happened. He was sitting there. Like, that's crazy work. <laughs> Nigga, there was a sensation. And it was just like, oh, what is this? And then it exploded. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's, that's weird. Nigga had an overload. It's crazy, bro. <laughs> I was just sitting there. I feel like every boy goes through that, like the discovery of self. Oh, so, so like, yeah. that's the candy. Like the niggas who be like from young who be like kind of hyper religious. Yeah. So they'd be like, no, I'm not doing it. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you're, you're going to have to one day. Yeah, one day. One day you're going to see what's to it, bro. I'm saying, like, I feel like the max age you can get to without doing it is like maybe 16. Nah, 16 is crazy. Like 15, maybe. Right. I'm not just talking about the beats. I'm talking about in gen- like in general. Like, yeah. There's some niggas that, damn, even that. Everybody's going to end up doing that. What? There's no, even if even if you stop, right? Yeah. You're going to do it. You're going to be in school and the bros in school is going to be like, nigga, I didn't beat my meat today. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't beat my meat today. So now you're like, beat my meat. I remember I used to cap. What about you? About you being yeah. You be like, yeah, I, ain't I never did that shit. Like, <laughs> nah, sixth grade, seventh grade, they was talking about being a me. I never did that shit. Nah, I ain't never do it either. Seventh grade summer came. My cousin Lee, I was the same cousin Lee. I was talking about <laughs> nigga was a pro. <laughs> nigga, his whole family, they I'm exposed to the whole family, <laughs> whole family know like uh, Lee in the bathroom again. <laughs> nah, we and Lee the same, we the same age. Niggas know he in the bathroom again. Nah, that's crazy. He got shit saved on the phone like he was a fiend. Nah, he's wilding. Like, he was wilding, bro. <laughs> mind you, the family like, know? The family know. No, the family everybody, just accepted the Everybody shit. know that, that he is about to go crazy in the bathroom. Like, wow. And then he put me on to it, and then I, I started from there. Like what? Like a vid or like? Nah, like he knew all the porn stars. Like he knew everything. What so the fuck? he just like, yo. He kept talking about pinky, pinky, pinky. I'm, I'm wild right now. I'm trying to match it. And I was like, all right, let me see what's to that. Bro, it is we, we weren't we were ex, we were exposed to porn like early. Yeah. Like fifth grade. Remember that when the video came out, the two girls one cup shit? Which that, is crazy. I'm not gonna lie. That I think that kind of scarred me. I thought that's that's what all porn was like. Oh, so it made you stay away from it? Yeah, because like there was hella videos shit. Like, I'm like, because <laughs> niggas was freaks. Niggas had that shit saved on the flip phone, bro. That's so niggas had that, niggas downloaded that shit and used to show it in school, bro. I remember somebody I forgot who had it on their phone. It was like a slide. It was either a slide or a flip. Niggas had that shit downloaded on that shit, bro. Because I don't think I don't think there was iPods or there might have been, but there weren't a lot of people that had iPods. So you can't really go on the internet for real on your phones. So, so they were saving. Niggas content? saved it. Yes, I'm not gonna lie. I judge niggas who save content. Bro. Oh yeah, no, nah, that's weird. At this age, that's weird. If you're saving content, we have to that's weird. pray. We have to pray. Yeah, yeah, you. you're wild. <laughs> <laughs> you're wild. But boom. So now <laughs> we're going back. We're going rewind a little bit back into the basketball y'all. Yeah. yeah. In our high school days, mm-hmm. our discovery days, and so now we watching all these niggas become great. Like, yeah. While we're in high school, mm-hmm. so what do you feel like? Was the best basketball high school class that ever you seen? that yeah. I all right that I seen? I think it it has it has to be like twenty sixteen. Oh, I oh I see that that's tough. That's very tough. That is very tough. It has to be twenty sixteen. Who who's twenty sixteen again? That was Lonzo, J, uh, JT, mm-hmm. Markel Fultz was in that one. Um, who else was in that bitch? Um, Brandon, I think Brandon Ingram was in there. Maybe yeah, Brandon Ingram was in that shit. And that was that was Wait, you can pull it up right quick because I, I got to be let me see. Because the one that's in my head, I maybe it sixteen maybe battling with it. Let me see, because I know because I feel like there was a there was like this time period of high school basketball mm-hmm. where every gym, like if you had a star player, that doesn't happen no more. Yeah, no. Nah. If you had a high recruit, there's gonna be mad people in that mad gym. Mad people in the gym. It don't matter where the game was played. From on because we from the like Union County, so yeah. Whether it was playing at Linden, yeah. Whether it was played at Union High, yeah. Roselle Catholic, it doesn't matter which gym. If one of those top recruits was there, niggas is filling out. Nigga, seats. I remember the first time I seen Briscoe. That was like freshman year of high school. Nigga, seats filled. Mm-hmm. Niggas who never go to games are at that game. At that game, both bro. sides, big yep. ass gym, yep. both sides. They start doubling the price. Hell yeah, that shit was like fucking twenty dollars. <laughs> For a high it's school a, game. For a high school game. They start taxing niggas. Shit was crazy, bro. Especially if you didn't go to that school, you were fucked. 
Oh yeah. <laughs> if you ain't yeah. Good, it's oh my god, bro. Like you had to travel. There used to be fucking traffic, yeah. bro. Especially the Roosevelt Catholic. There was only one street that one you street to get, that in. Could get yeah. in, bro. Nah, that shit was horrible. But 2016 was Jason Tatum, Lonzo Ball, Bam Adebayo, Darren Fox, Markel Fultz, Miles Bridges, Malik Monk. This is all in one line. Yeah, this is tough. <laughs> this that's all in one line. I ain't gonna right lie, there. this is tough. You got um. Let me see towards the bottom. Uh, it was and this is in high school them at their best. Yeah, this is yeah. them at their best. This senior year, mm-hmm. I remember all these niggas, bro. I remember nigga, what's his name? This nigga Jalen Fisher, he was like an albino looking nigga. Yeah, I remember him. Yeah, that nigga Shamori oh, Pons, yeah. the nigga from New York. Um, Tony Carr, I remember him from Philly. Ty Jerome was from New York. Uh, let's see, what other shit is there? Kevin Herter is here. Robert Williams. Peyton Pritchard. Uh, Damn, Seventh Woods was on this one. Yeah, this is where Seventh Woods was. Yeah, I think 2016 was one of the best ones, bro. I'm trying to see. I if, think a sleeper, right? Yeah. 2015. I was about to say 2015, 20, but I, I think, like I said, that time period of basketball from whoever played, because you would have been in high school during that time. Mm-hmm. So you would have been a sophomore if you were class 2017. Yeah, we saw So them. from 2015 to 2017, those classes are the best classes of basketball. Let me see. All right, this one they had. Oh, they had Ben Simmons, Brandon Ingram, Jalen Brown. Uh, Let's see. Damn, Briscoe. Oh, they have Briscoe. Oh, wait. It says Union on here? Oh, shit. Yeah, he's funny you, bro. He, I thought he put Newark. Yeah, funny you, <laughs> Oh, bro. shit. I thought, oh, Dwayne Bacon, Antonio. Okay, you know what? They was, they was during that time. You know what? They were crazy. Like, they, this wasn't like, we're not talking about their, their college career. Yeah, no, this is, like, who, this is like who This is like mixtape. Yeah. Like, we're sitting there. We're dedicating our time yeah. to watching these niggas, like, they're dark. <laughs> Yeah, this is like the documentary is the day in the life. Oh my! We're God. watching their day in the life, bro. Oh, I thought I, because of Corey Sanders, bro. I thought I was from Lakeland, Florida, bro. <laughs> I was to God. I wish I was. I wanted a day in the life, bro. Bro, I was watching all of their shits, bro. Wow, religiously. Yo, we were sick, bro. They were really influential to the basketball, high school basketball. They scene. were. I, who mixtape and balls? They fell off crazy. <laughs> but you know why though? It's because everybody now has a. A platform. Oh yeah, yeah. Where it's like you don't need them no more mm-hmm. to make your hoop mixtape. You got you could other go, niggas. Somebody could bring this this iPhone drone right now and make record it. every point and just make a highlight, put music on it. Of course, you can put your favorite song on your mixtape. Yeah, so it's not. It's really not that hard. Yeah. You know how many people are video editors nowadays? Nigga, Everybody could do it. I could. I know so many freaking video editors, bro. And it's not that hard to like really make a so, mixtape. That's what I'm saying. Now it's kind of they had the big name mm-hmm. and. They didn't make the most of it. Like they yeah. didn't create nothing outside of. You know, I think it is. I think overtime killed them, bro. Oh, oh yeah, overtime, overtime killed, them. killed them, bro. Because overtime, oh was like, all right, we got this. Watch this. Overtime started leveling killed up, them. like, like because you know, over overtime would just they weren't making hoop mixtapes. They was like, you know, we're just gonna post like highlights, but now we're gonna like post other shit like not just basketball like we'll do like we're gonna of course we're gonna do like um the day in the life and shit like that mm-hmm. but ball's life really didn't do that much of that it's a fact like but over time bro the, oh my god they shot that bitch out the water bro no for sure like they they kind of like like this ball, like, of over, basketball content like even hoop mixtape i don't even think they make mixtapes anymore like i don't see anybody being like oh like damn niggas got like, and it was yeah i think it was area's finest what was it yeah, he's finest. Yeah. yeah, they don't. They don't got that. They, no don't, more. Got, <laughs> they don't got that no more. Ball is yeah, life. Ball is, but that was that's what we wanted. Ball is life still make content. They, yeah, but it's like park content. Park content. Yeah, like, they're not really like doing Make more. It. They're like oh, yeah. they're not tr- they're not really like trying to highlight the best players in the class. They're just that's trying. True. They're like doing like what uh, Frigga do, does. Does they're yeah. trying park to make takeovers like, and park shit. takeovers and shit. Which I feel like that shit's kind of dying down too. Because I feel like that shit, I, I said that was gonna happen. Yeah, because I feel like it was only good because of quarantine. It was nothing to do. Nothing yeah. to do, and niggas could go outside and see niggas play basketball. That was, that's like that's like the lockout. It was basically like the Damn. lockout from the NBA when the NBA had a lockout. We had nothing else to do. We couldn't play outside. If niggas was doing that during that time, should have capitalized off that shit heavy. Like. Hell yeah, bro. But hey, man. But nah, 2015. This is a good draft class. I'm not gonna lie, because this is really they're not really NBA players. They're, they're like great high school basketball. Great players. high school basketball like, players. Really bro. put on. For high school basketball. Yeah. It's not a crazy take. Like, I know niggas might not. You might look at 2016 and see the best NBA players. Yeah. But 2015 got the best high school players. Like, 
All them niggas was selling out gyms. Like, yeah. I'm trying to see who else is on this motherfucker. Was um was Corey Sanders on? Corey Sanders is two thousand fifteen. Oh wow, that's crazy, bro. And that's what I'm saying. Even so, like, like I said, that time period from if you if you graduated twenty eighteen, so that's the the year you came in your freshman year. So mm-hmm. from that fresh from twenty eighteen's freshman year, yeah, to the senior of that class. So that would be twenty fifteen. That'd be twenty. Yeah, 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 yeah. So. That range of basketball is the best basketball I've ever seen. In high I school. think so. I, I ain't mad at that. It, it might, we might be biased. Yeah. But right now the hoops is not giving like it was, like it was. That's what I'm saying. Then. Like I was, I be like I knew this was gonna happen. Like I was like, there's gonna be a point where I'm not gonna know who the fuck is yeah. in like the the top of like the best in the the country, or whatever. It was like killer teams. Like, yeah. Like there was teams like AAU was top. Like if you could play for the players, bro. You done did some, nigga. I tried out. <laughs> yeah, I tried out for them too. That's what I'm saying. If you could play for the players, you done did something. because it was like teams of of great players. Like, yeah, and that's another thing. Let's talk about it since we're here. New Jersey has the best basketball in our country, and niggas don't want to talk about it because I because it's Jersey. Yeah. If you really think about it, the amount of talent that comes out of New Jersey, we have a lot of talented niggas, but I feel like they're not. A, they're not, they may not be NBA talent. Yeah, they're not NBA talent. Bro, but they're good. They are very talented. Very talented. I'm not gonna lie. What's his name from Don Bosco? What Ron Harper son? He gonna put on that nigga OD. He's OD. That nigga's OD. Like, and he's say, Filipino, bro. I'm Shout saying, out to Filipino, best, bro. Best hoops comes out of Jersey. Like they do. Like even the schools that are here are the best schools in, in the, the country. I think the, it's starting to fall off a little bit. Saint, I, I watched the rankings. I ain't go front. Yeah. St. Pat's is not how it used to be. Like, mm-hmm. St. Pat's is not how it used to be. Rosa Catholic's not how it used to be. Um, Benedict's not really the crazy like that. Like, they're not They're not really. You know what it is, though? I think that the caliber of basketball has gone down. And I think yeah. now, other, other, so always New York has came and played in Jersey. Yeah. All the best New York players mm-hmm. were playing from our, from our time. Yeah, yeah. Were playing in New Jersey. Jelly fam. They was playing in, in New Jersey. Jersey. Yeah. Like, if you think about even a lot of Philly niggas were playing in, were going to, like, Trenton Catholic. And yeah, yeah. Shit like that. Like, a lot of people were coming to our town. Mm-hmm. But I guess a lot of those coaches, I guess, moved around and yeah. shit like that. Niggas start getting bred. What, start I, what I think it is, though, I feel like a lot more people are opening up, like, bigger high schools that are not, like, high schools. Like, they're, like, universities. Preps and shit like Prep that, schools. Yeah. I feel like prep schools is the wave now. Mm-hmm. Like, shit like, like the overtime elite shit. Yeah. Nigga, if I'm a, if I'm a top-rated recruit, they offer me, I'm going. going. That and shit looks... And they giving you money. That shit and looks just, fun as fuck. Just pooping all day. That shit looks fun as yeah. fuck. You know they have a, you know they have a documentary? Already? Yeah, it was from last season. They have a whole documentary, but that shit's interesting as hell. I'm not gonna lie. I watched, like, four or five episodes already. That's just mad interesting. Man, them niggas up, bro. Like, it's he, crazy. Like, they've made so much money not even being in the NBA already. Exactly. That's what I will say the big difference is. Mm-hmm. And that could be why the talent ain't talented. Yeah. It's because these niggas already got money. They're not trying too hard. That's what you know it is. It's college, bro. Nah, it's, you know, it's, I won't say it's college. I'll say it's the G League fault. Mm-hmm. Because the G League opened up the idea of, of taking on some high school kids and, like, bring them to the NBA. And the college just got scared. Like the NCAA was like, damn, they might take all our talent. So you mm-hmm. know, let's let's give them an opportunity to make money. money now these bro, niggas know they're not bro, people are not like rushing to go pro. At least uh, uh basketball, maybe maybe basketball is a little more quicker, but like football, they're not rushing. They're not. It's no bro, need. They get money. Caleb Wills Caleb Williams is gonna be the number one draft pick of the in the NFL. But he could pick like he so he you know Caleb Williams, he plays at uh-huh. USC. Bro, he makes so much money on endorsements already. He could play. He could play another year at USC if he really wants to. And he's good. That's what I'm saying. And he could go number. He could go number one right now. But if say like it's a team that he don't like, like it's like the fucking um like the Bears or like a team like he don't want to play over there, he will just go back to college because he's already making so much money. That's how crazy it is, bro. Oh, you know what's crazy though? I know niggas love draft day. Yeah, but maybe I'm a, I'm a selfish ass nigga. Like niggas love draft day. <laughs> I'm going on draft. If I'm the top number one player. I'm going undrafted. Why? So I can pick what team I want to fucking play for. I mean, I'm I mean, gonna just sign that, with somebody. But that's not your choice, though. It is, if you think about it. How? If you decide, I don't want to be drafted here. 
they can't forcibly draft you and make you play for them. I mean, like you're just gonna they're gonna blackball you though. They're gonna the hella social media is gonna be on your ass, bro. But if if this think we gotta think, brothers and sisters, you can choose where you want to go. I mean, you could, but like, I mean that that's like that's like it's how the, it's the title behind number one draft pick. I just think you know. It, that that too. Somebody has to change the mold. Like somebody that's dumb nice says, "Nah, I don't want to be drafted. I want to go and draft and decide where I want to go." It'll fuck niggas' brains up, and it, it'll start a uh, domino effect. I don't know who it's gonna be, but that that is some crazy shit. <laughs> yeah. Because you gotta think about it. because like even like say it's an NBA, right? You're number one draft prospect. You could choose to work out for any team you want, but you choose to work out for the top teams that's about to draft you. Mm-hmm. Like, I remember, I think Tyrese Halliburton was talking about on a podcast or whatever. He was talking about um how he was about to get drafted by Washington or some shit, but he never went to know, like, he never spoke with them. He yeah, never he didn't want to, yeah. Because he, I don't know if he didn't want to or he just didn't think he was going to get drafted that high. So he's just like, you know, I don't got no time because, you know, you got to travel, do all this mm-hmm. and the third. So, niggas, you got to choose strategically who you want to play for. But like at the same time, it's like you you could tell him like nah, I don't want to. I want to train for like I want to play with Bron, so I want to play with the Lakers. So I'm only gonna work out with the Lakers. But nigga, I feel like niggas is just gonna blackball the shit out of you. Yeah, it's a lot of politics in that. In but like, but you gotta think about it. If you go undrafted, you're making way less money. You know that? Yeah. Like, but like I mean, I'm but talking there are, way. There are some contracts though that be decent. It'd be like like a mil. Bro, if you in the it's a, look at this nigga said, oh, man. nigga, you could have got good. You could have had twelve if you were number one draft pick. I think you like ten million. Yeah, that is true. Like them niggas is up, oh. and like imagine the bus. Like Anthony Bennett, that nigga was See, good, living great. So that <laughs> first four <laughs> years, bro, he was living good. See that now that damn that comes with what's important to my next question, bro. Yeah, they got that that question that niggas was arguing over. What the three hundred and fifty million dollar contract. Or the NBA championship, or to be an NBA champion, four times, so to have four rings, four rings, four rings, or three hundred fifty million. Damn, that's a lot. Four rings or three hundred fifty. Um, I might do the. I might do the ring. No, I'm. I think I'm gonna take the bread. Yo, is niggas okay? I think I'm gonna take the. I bread. don't even understand <laughs> how this is a debate. Like, how do niggas think about this? We do all this, we get to the NBA, we do all this <laughs> to make money. Yeah. Yes, we want to be great. Yes, we want to win. We love to win. We love to compete. We also want to win off the court. <laughs> but we want off the court matters more. Yeah. 350, nigga, you are, your three generations is set for life. It's set. Why is it? I'd rather win an NBA champion. I want to be an NBA champion. They don't give a f- that man don't give a fuck about you. Yeah, nigga, you like you just the show pony. Now. You just the pony, bro. Go get your money. Yeah, bro. What be up with niggas' brain? I seen shout out to Stack, but I fuck with him. Yeah. Steven Jackson, like he was mad that niggas would take the money and not the rings. But it's like, bro, why? Like it's, we yes, like I said, we love the NBA. We love to compete. We love all that. Yeah. But it's that money really is what what because a lot of money. What's really important is your family and your livelihood. Yeah, because that's what make you a man at the end of the day. Real shit, bro. That NBA championship do not make you a man at the end of the day. It just makes you an NBA champion. It makes you an NBA champion and a trophy for the next year, bro. <laughs> yeah. Niggas just gonna show for the next year. The year after that, yo, do we give a fuck about the Nuggets right now? I know. No. I honestly forgot who won before that. We don't care. Was that the Warriors who won before Yes. That? Oh, I forgot. We don't care. that now, now that it's over, we don't even care no more. Exactly. Is that when we're having those arguments about who's the best. It just That's when it's going to bring up. That's what it's going to bring up. That's what I'm saying. Like, if I'm like a nigga that I probably won't be in those conversations, nigga, what? Give me the money. <laughs> what the fuck? If and I'm it's like, like, if you, it's like this. Would you rather be Robert Horry mm-hmm. or AI? I'd be AI. Oh, I'd be AI. What I'd the be fuck? AI. I would rather revolutionize the game than to just have all the rings. Yeah, I'm, I'm cool off that. I'd be AI in a heartbeat. Because it's uh, like, you know, I feel like, nigga, all right, you know, I feel like it gives niggas motivation because, like, we always, we're always built, instilled in our mind to be the best at whatever we do. Mm-hmm. So that is the best. So once you reach that, you are re- reached your best. Mm-hmm. But I feel like once you realize you're not going to get there or you might not be in the talks or, like, you're not going to be the deciding factor of a championship, I will not, like, like, my first, like, say, 
if I'm in the NBA, right? After my rookie deal, I'm about to go sign. If some nigga, if some nigga is offering me a max contract, that's like the Pistons. Ooh, that's a lot of losing though. It's a lot of losing, but you know what I'm saying? We love to win. We love to win. That's a lot of losing. But if I'm averaging 45 on a losing team, I'm trying. I'm trying. <laughs> it's like you I'm trying my me. fucking best. I'm you can't really be best. mad at me. You really can't. I mean, of course, in today's age, they go tell you, uh, just trade or go sign on a new yeah. team. But 45, if I'm, if, I ain't gonna lie, if I'm Trey Young, bro, I'm staying, bro. You staying? I'm gonna keep getting this bread, bro. I ain't mad keep at you. Keep extending him. me. Keep getting me this money because at the end of the day, it don't matter. It's really about my family. It's really about me. It's really yeah. about what's after the NBA. And then say you give me this. Four hundred and fifty million. Yeah, I could retire today. Hell uh, yeah, and never dribble a basketball. Again. Even even if say say you offer me five years, one fifty, nigga. After that five years is done, then I'll go chase a ring. Yeah. Um. Until then. See, that's what I was saying in the barbershop. I was like, yo, I will go and make all this money, and then I'll, and then take, I'll, I'll just hop on a coattail of somebody. You know, play ten minutes, fifteen minutes a uh, game. Yeah, I take the veteran minimum. <laughs> Come on, bro. No problem, but I will CP3, uh, Shaq on the Celtics. Yeah, Hell yeah, I'll, I'll do all that. Head. But as long as I get this money first, then we cool, bro. Yeah. That's just how it is, bro. It's a, it's a, it's this is just how life is, bro. It's really just a greedy world, bro. Like I was like, like we talk about piss. I was seeing like Dwight Howard, bro. That nigga said, "Want to play so bad, bro." Bro, that nigga ever. St- <laughs> I think I feel like the NBA blackballing that nigga, bro. But he made it worse with the allegations. Yeah, I know, cause niggas not they don't want him to be on the thing. Yeah. But he said that. If he, so, the, he said if this team was on the Pistons, they'll win more games. It's him, Demarcus Cousins, it John Wall, and Mike Beasley. And then off the bench, I think it was like Rondo. Um, I forgot there was other niggas on the bench. But he said these niggas could win more. Those niggas could win more games for sure, than the Pistons for sure, for sure. Right now, yeah. Right I now, I don't know them right niggas now. all. Them niggas all they hurt the shit. But they hoop though. I don't know, bro. What I? They can't guard, bro. They're beating. Who they beat? The Hornets. Okay. They're beating. You really got to think about it. <laughs> you really got to. They're beating gotta... the Spurs. Uh, nah, when we going to fry Dwight Howard? And who else is going to do what? They got some good when, players. When be a get you at 20. We got to. Let's be real. When be a get you 20 points. When be has not gone crazy. Like, points wise. Yeah. He's filled up the stat sheet. But he ain't giving nigga 40. He ain't 45. He ain't, that's not how he's coming. All right, all right. I, I, I'll, give, I'll give you Spurs. I'll give you Spurs. They're beating the Spurs. They're beating... Um, There's really nobody else. There's the two weeks. There's the two <laughs> worst teams. In like, like that. That's the only two games they go with. I think they can fuck around and beat the Pacers. Whoa. I don't, I don't think the Pacers are that good. You're bugging. I think... In, you, in, I did. Yes, I did. I did watch them. You I watched, been watching he had them. 20 and 20, bro. I'm knowing. No, no turnovers. I'm knowing. I still don't... We're going to see... In the playoffs, we're going to come back to this conversation. I'm going to tell you again, showing you that they're not that good. The pace. Is, all right, we'll see. I'm just saying, bro, that nigga, I don't know who else, He don't got nobody else around him. And he's getting all these damn assists. But I, I think Pacers is wild, bro. I don't think they beating the Pacers, bro. The Pacers is running laps on them niggas. Oh, they do run. They do run. They are yeah, running, bro. That nigga running. is like Magic Johnson. Isaiah running Thomas, old ass, is not staying. He is not staying up. He's not staying up for yeah, bro. Right. John Wall, old this shit too. Mike Beasley. Uh, Mike Beasley got a timeless game. He do have a timeless yeah. game, but it's like if give him. All right, we give him. How many games do you think they're winning in the season? Like, if we go be completely honest, twenty seven, twenty eight. Oh no! Let me let me make sure. Let me, let me. <laughs> 27, 28. That's a lot of games. Yeah. Nigga, you think they win like fifteen? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I think don't know. maybe twenty. Hold on, let me see. I would love to see a team give Mike Beasley the ball and say, "Go get bucks." Like, I do too. I miss Mike Beasley when he was on the next. I was a big fan. I'm trying to see what te- what teams he said. He said bench is Kemba. Oh, Kemba, Lance Stevenson, Blake Griffin, and Taco. He said what? So he taco said fall? Taco Fall on the bench yeah, with yeah, he Blake Griffin. Out, he tweaked out. He tweaked out. He just, he just named it. He just named it, nigga. It's like. He said Blake he Griffin. He were friends bad as shit. <laughs> Blake Griffin, Lance Stevenson, Kemba Walker, and who's Do? I'm trying to think who that name is. D.O. Who's that? I seen that before. I couldn't remember what it was. 
Ooh. But yeah, that's his that's his five. They're the Pistons are two and twenty eight right now. Two and twenty eight. Two and twenty eight. So if all so if IT John Wall, Mike Beasley, Demarcus Cousins, Dwight Howard, Kemba Walker, Lance Stevenson, Blake Griffin, and Taco Fowler on one team, how many games are they winning the season? I don't think they cracking they win twenty, in- bro. Nah, you're, you're crazy. You're crazy. I don't as fuck. think they're cracking twenty, bro. You're crazy as fuck. Really? Yeah, bro. We think... got like, bro. I don't think so. Like they I... got at least thirty games with them. No, nah, no to way. To win thirty games, they have, they can win thirty games. Bro, the hold on. Let me let me see that that Charlotte Bobcats record, bro. Because I feel like they're gonna they're like in that realm. I don't think they're doing There's it. There's no Ooders on that team. You sure? If you if you fill in with a with some young player, yeah, some young some shooter? young guys, they'll be good. I don't know, bro. Yo, if you fill in them, them, that team you name with some young guys, they're good. Bro, they're going to be hurting, bro. You throw a Cam Thomas in there, bro. They're good, bro. Oh, the The Bobcats were 7-59. and 59. That's I, craziness. Ew. <laughs> I don't think they're going to be that bad, but I think they're going to be like 15. 15 and like. That's crazy to even say. You're 15. disrespecting their greatness, bro. I'm not disrespecting their greatness. I'm not saying they're not a great player, but I'm saying right now. Bro, you bring Melo on that team, bro. What's happening, bro? On the Pistons? No, I'm talking about uh, on this team. Yeah, you're talking about. Oh, I, nigga, what? They, uh, all right, seventeen games. <laughs> <laughs> seventeen games. I just seen Melo playing one on one with Julius Randle. He was giving that. Like, but you know, one on one is different from an NBA game. There's schematics and shit. That is very true. Bro, these young guys are going to lock these niggas up. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? They play the Thunder. They gonna get locked the hell up. Shout out nah, to the Thunder, getting, bro. I ain't gonna lie, Thunder my favorite team right now. I'm a big fan of shit. I wanna, I wanna go, I wanna go watch the Thunder, bro. They play yeah, the Nets like, in a couple days. Like I ain't gonna lie, like I think Shea my favorite player right now. I wanna be mad at it, bro. I like, I, bro. Him and Edwards are two of my my two favorite players right now, bro. Real shit, like, bro. Like, Niggas not known for real. Niggas not known for real by Ed like, Edwards. Yo, Ed is crazy. But you know what's crazy? It right is now? so crazy, sir. I, you know, what I love to see, bro. I feel like. We are now witnessing the new generation of, of the basketball. superstars. Hell yeah! I, I, Hell yeah. I, I, I Hell enjoy yeah. seeing this. Bro. Hell yeah! I, I enjoy seeing this, bro. Like we're like shit. you see Tyrese Halliburton doing mm-hmm. this thing. You got Anthony Edwards. You got Shea. You got Luca. You got Jokic. And it's like LeBron, Steph Curry, KD, uh, Them niggas Paul still George. Kawhi. Hell. They still give a hell, but they're not really like they're like they they up in the top, but like. The young guys are starting to get the top. Like we, we're starting to see who gonna be running the league when we're like in our 30, 35s mm-hmm. and shit like that. Because these niggas, they the same age as us. Yeah. Which hurts my soul every yeah, day, bro. These niggas make so Should've much money. Should have been me, bro. Should have been me, bro. My, I didn't have the right canon event, bro. Yeah, I didn't bro. go the right direction. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I, we're shit. I didn't have the right canon event, bro. Man, oh, the shit it did not go in my favor. What is the shit I want to talk about? Oh, I want to. So since. It's the end of the year, bro. I wanted to talk about some of the things that happened this year, either in the media or, or that you witnessed from yourself that you think was like one of the craziest shits that you think. Because I'm thinking, like in my mind, I'm thinking right now, <laughs> it's crazy to think that when that submarine happened, how many memes was going on of niggas dying. Yeah, that's cr- that is a crazy, crazy thing, bro. Crazy. Bro, we are so <laughs> like. Desensitized to everything. Bro. Yeah, bro. Niggas was literally in a life or death situation. They yeah. don't know they was the meme for a month. For, bro, them for niggas, months. Bro, them niggas is dead. Bro. They were they expl- and they don't even know niggas was laughing at them. Like niggas was making jokes. Jokes. They bro. was in the submarine. Yeah. Niggas was bring up old Simpsons episodes and not trying to find ways to save the niggas, 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 bro. I didn't see no GoFundMe. <laughs> like what the fuck is going on? Niggas, niggas imploded. Niggas gave up once they heard it, bro. It was the craziest shit, bro. That shit happened this year. Freaking Christian Rock and Blueface, all that drama that was going bro, on. I hate it. Seriously. Oh my I god! I don't follow not one of them niggas, bro. And I see everything. Everything is just happening. Just so much shit is happening. Fucking um. Even recently, we were just talking about the Pistons, the worst record in the worst losing streak ever. I think that's the worst losing streak in all sports, bro. Mm-hmm. Imagine losing. You losing for two months straight. Bro, no wins. Out, bro. No wins. Out, Imagine how that out. locker room is. They just go. I feel like they don't give a fuck. <laughs> Imagine just, nigga going out to party and shit like they that. They definitely do that. I'm not I'm not denying it. Like, there's some niggas out there that probably just go out and party and shit. They don't give a fuck no more. That, I'm surprised that nigga Monty Williams still a coach. Fucking. No, they try to say it's the team and not him. I guess. I guess. What a, what a shit's, what a, what a shit's happened? There was that shit happened. 
No, I really don't know. I don't want to be paying attention for real. There was a lot. Oh, I'm trying to think. I, I feel like there were so many gonna, things that happened. I ain't going to front. I don't got nothing on my mind that happened this year. Like, how was this year for you, bro? Um, That's a great question. Because honestly, this is your first full year living in South Jersey, bro. How was yeah, it for you, bro? This year was like a... Last year was like a bad year, even though I count more money than a cash year. But um, <laughs> I would say it was a, a learning ass year. Mm -hmm. Like I had to grow up. Like not I had to grow up, but I grew up more. Than you thought you? Yeah, this mm -hmm. year. Like I had a lot more responsibility as a man. Yeah. Um, learning myself, put myself in different uh, positions Yeah, as a man as well. Mm -hmm. um, so that's what. That's what I, I would say. Just look, like the, my responsibilities grew, mm. and the expectations that I have for myself as well, yeah, have changed. Like yeah. what I want and what I want to do mm -hmm. for myself has changed. Like I'm learning different things I'm, I may want to do in my occupation, like in my life. Yeah, like that. That's what it, the kind of year it was. So it's kind of like a a start a year for how your the rest of your life gonna be. Going to be, yeah. That's that's you. how kind of that's how I'm starting to feel right now. I get you. I get you. Mm -hmm. For me, I just feel like I don't know. I feel like this whole year has just been like, it's honestly just been a hella like this, bro. Mm. A lot. Like, I, like I never, like I never really understand when people say like this roller coaster of life, but there really is a lot. No, nah, for sure. Like a little highs, a like lot, a lot of wicked should be happening. Mm -hmm. Like in the beginning of the year, like this is the year when. It was like for the pod. The pod was doing really good this year. Mm. We had a good. We had a good um year this year. I think we grew like maybe we doubled in followers that we had in the past That's year. Cool. We doubled. We doubled. I think we, we doubled everything honestly. Mm. And it was just now, like IG boom this year. Mm -hmm. IG boom this year. We was at like five k beginning of the year. If so, no, we was at bro. We was at fifteen hundred. Word. I looked at bro. I was looking through my old uh, screenshots. And I seen it was February. We was at fifteen hundred, bro. Damn, that's not crazy. That's though. just wild, bro. Yeah, we at twenty five right now. Like twenty four, twenty four. Yeah, that's that's what I'm saying. Hey, bro. And it's like I've started to see like where things have been going. Especially like this is the year where I think more people are making podcasts now. Mm -hmm. And I feel like I feel like we were not really the pioneers of podcast or not the pioneers, but one of the first ones, but we were because, you know, podcast has been a thing, mm -hmm. but I feel like we were one of the first ones on social media. Mm -hmm. Like, because I feel like not a lot of niggas was really posting shit on social media. So I feel like I had to, especially, for, especially from our peers, like other people that we know mm -hmm. or know of, or yeah, it was the first niggas to do it for sure. Yeah, bro. But you know, I always say like, even though it's a new year, it's the same thing, but we just add on to it, bro. Mm -hmm. New, we just put new attachments, new additions to everything. We're doing the same shit, same mindset. So whatever happens this year, I know I got we got go. I got goals. We got goals that we're gonna accomplish. I'm gonna talk about. It, I think I want to have like a meeting with everybody so we can just talk about shit when um, Tyrone comes back. Cause that nigga's in London right now. That nigga just be doing side quests. And shit. Nah, he is really just be doing side <laughs> yeah. quests, bro. He mm -hmm. really just be like that nigga just be everywhere, bro. Like he mm -hmm. go on a plane like every once a month, bro. But yeah, so more shit coming. I got yo, I got so much shit planned. I can't wait to tell niggas. But I want oh, I want to talk about this other thing. I had this one topic on here. Bro, Twitch is not for gaming anymore. Hell no. Twitch, Twitch I I seen I seen a lady with all the up titties doing this. I was <laughs> like, yeah, Twitch is it, first of all, fuck gaming. It ain't for kids, it's though. It's for kids, <laughs> bro. It's this yo, crazy Twitch work. Twitch was like when we was like in high school, middle school, like yeah. that's when Twitch was like Getting this, like it's like starting up. up. Yeah. yeah, bro. It's like, first of all, niggas. I feel like it started with like Aiden because Aiden was like one of the first niggas to like not be stop, on Twitch, yeah, not for playing, games. Stop playing video games. Yeah, man. he stopped playing. That's when cause that's when two K twenty one came out. He was like, yo, I'm not playing this bullshit, and he started just like streaming and just like of himself, mm -hmm. and like now he started like a whole wave, and now niggas are starting to do. It. But now, bro, the women are just fucking wilding, bro. Right. Like niggas is just starting to. Like, like I understand they make you're making bread, but like, why you gotta do it like this, this bro? This is my thing. Are they not ashamed because it's kids that's watching? That's what I'm saying. Like, because like Twitch is not censored. Yeah. Like you can like you don't gotta. I don't think they have like it's not like Patreon where you have to like pay money and subscription. Yeah. There's like there's like 18 over shit. Like you can watch anything. There's so, guidelines, but yeah, there's certain guidelines, yeah. but it's like just there's still like 15, 14 year old kids. Kids, yeah. Like, imagine, it, bro, if a dude was doing that shit, 
He's going to jail. Jail. He is going, going to jail. Crucified on the internet. He is going to jail. Crucified. Literally, there's there's moaning, like channels where they just they're moaning. Like what is what is what is going through people's mind? And they don't think, like okay, you're trying to make money now. Okay, think about ten years from now. All this is on the end of you doing this shit. How you like? Where are you gonna grow from that? Like niggas not going niggas not thinking long term here. Like it's like. Bro, they, there's like a there was some shit where like women are like naked on Twitch, but they put like bars on it to censor it, and like t- like technically Twitch like allows it because like they're not showing nothing. Mm-hmm. But I'm like, who thinks of shit like that? Just it works because it's little horny fifteen year olds, fourteen year olds, and then a thirty five year old nigga that ain't never got no ass sitting there watching them. It's a crazy niche, yeah. bro. Niggas is taking advantage of our hormones. It's really crazy, bro. And this is a wild world we live but in, bro. I'm not mad at him because it works. I know I'm not. Mad. It's it's it is what it is, bro. Like you know, there is sickos in this world, bro. There's real life sickos in this world. Like I, so you you make and it's crazy because all the sickos in this world have so much money. Don't know how or most of the sickos. Like you know, it'd be like the rich motherfuckers, rich old niggas yeah. that be doing all that weird freaky shit on OnlyFans. Where they be like, I'm not gonna lie, I fake judge niggas that buy OnlyFans. I, I would too, nigga. Because, it's like, free. It's free. It's free. <laughs> Why are we paying? Why thirty dollars a month, that? bro. Thirty dollars a month. You can find that shit anywhere, bro. So wow, it's it's. But cra- there's real life women out here, and you're paying, bro. Exactly. For the, I'm talking about. They will pull up on you for the free, bro. You don't have to buy no food. You ain't got to spend on gas. You ain't got to do nothing, like. It's, I, it's like me. This is where media is starting to reach its w- pinnacle. It's it, it reached its peak, like maybe. 2019 20, 2019 2020 the moment panic that's when quarantine, quarantine. quarantine it reaches peak but now it's like overloading mm-hmm. like it's not even going on it's just like it's like it's just like too much shit that's going on quarantine niggas were bored yeah niggas so was bored creativity start busting niggas Bro. start coming up with different things and nigga never niggas never used to go live yeah now quarantine niggas was everybody they see touring lanes going live, live. niggas oh, all going dang. online Bro, like I just feel like this age of the internet, it's like everything is just exploding and it's just gonna crash down somewhere. Nigga, we are a part of that. Like we are, we are the part of the the new internet. We are, we are bro. on a podcast. Right I know now. we really are, bro. So we are part of the new media, like literally, like news, mm-hmm. uh, gaming, sports. Like yeah. we are, we are, media. we are part of social media. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie, and it's, it's crazy, bro. Because like, imagine all this shit just start just crashes down, bro. Like I don't know, I don't know if you ever watched this movie on Netflix. You might have watched it. You ever watched the movie um Leave the World Leave the World Behind? Nah, bro. I just be watching HBO Max, bro. Nah. Do you have Netflix? Why don't you have Netflix? I thought you had Netflix. Not a part of the world, bro. Niggas say you're not a part. Nigga want to be different. Niggas just watch it. <laughs> yeah. You really got HBO Max to watch all the DC movies over and over again. Yeah, different. But nah, I feel like I feel like you should you should watch. It. I think it's a good movie. So it's basically about like the world is so it's it's not the world it's america so it's like when uh what's it called so there's like a apocalypse going on but it's like there's it's like people from new jersey new york they go to they go somewhere for um vacation or whatever and then the internet goes out internet goes out and then slowly power starts going out then communication starts going out and everything everything's like black like it's all every, there's like a big ass blackout and they don't know what happened and supposedly it was like freaking um it was like an attack from like another country mm-hmm. like they but they don't know who it is because after all the power went out like drones came in and dropped like little pamphlets that said death to america but it was in different languages like one of them was in like arabic and then another one was in like korean because they trying to confuse the americans to say like they're being attacked by this different people because now we have no connection to people and then niggas started hacking like the tesla cars and driving them into like the streets and crashing him. So, like, now we have no transportation. Blocking off all the roadways. And then, at the end, it was like, niggas just started realizing, like, this is like a like a war strategy, strategy to, like, make us fight against each other. And just to, like, have a civil war. And I feel like, I be seeing a lot of shit on TikTok. Like, I, I seen on TikTok first before I watched it. And I, I be seeing niggas on TikTok being afraid of it. Because Barack Obama and his wife, like, produced it. And he used what he learned from the White House, like, as president, to, like create like the scenes and like create like the different like information that they talk about in there because one of the guys in there is like uh he works for the government and he was saying like one of the easiest ways to take down a country is from the inside it was 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 that plan you have to like 
take out all connection, like all forms of communication, then start confusion. And then they're just going to all just kill each other, like civil war, because they don't know what the fuck going on. They think it's like an apocalypse. So everybody was afraid because when Barack Obama and I guess his wife was creating the movie, like all the directors, they was like, damn, this shit a little too realistic. Like this is, this is kind of scary. And people started seeing messages like in the, in the, um, in the movie. And they think that it's like foreshadowing what's going to happen because they see what's going on in like China and Russia. And they see like China and Russia starting to become like above us, like economically, like in the world. And they say like, this could act like, this is the one apocalypse that can actually like really happen. Mm. And it's like, you see all the rich people starting to like prepare for something crazy. Like Mark Zuckerberg is um, creating a $100 million bunker in Hawaii right now. I've seen that. A hundred million dollars. They said that's the most, it's like the most expensive and like the biggest uh, personal project someone has ever done in history. A hundred million dollars. He said that shit got, it's like a town, bro. But it's like, why is he, the niggas is wondering like why he's preparing for that and it's, or why he's creating that. And it's like, it happened, it started like after that movie came out or that, I think him making that came out and then the movie came out. But my thing is though, how he gonna get to Hawaii? I mean, what? I mean, what if he's already over there? What if he already preparing for this shit to happen? Niggas already know what's gonna happen. Yeah, they they get a nigga heads up what they gonna be. Like think of because and like niggas is people are saying because you remember the hap- the fires that happened in Hawaii. Mm-hmm. Like imagine they had those fire like they planned that fire out just to get the locals out of there to build bunkers over there because they know that something's about to happen. Because mm-hmm. imagine yo, if we had imagine all of our internet's out, we have no communication, no internet, no t- uh, no power, nigga, we're fucked. They said. They was talking about an internet apocalypse or whatever, like at the start of the year, that could happen because of solar flares or whatever, and it could like, we'll be we'll have no power internet for like eight months, and they said the population will start to decrease because niggas not gonna know what to do, and niggas it's just like, I feel like we're just so connected to each other, like once we lose that connection, it's just gonna be all hell break loose, bro, and it's just a scary sight to see. I don't, I, old people gonna be living lavish because they never gave a fuck. They never gave our generation is fucked. Yeah, bro. Especially quarantine kids. Oh my god, bro. Them kids, bro. And even even that, bro. And I think you know, like, do you believe history really does like repeat itself? In a way, depending on what it is, hell yeah. Because think about it like this: there's a thing going around. There's like a it's like an eighty year like Renaissance thing, eighty year theory, whatever. That mm. something. Like every eighty years, like something it repeats, something repeats itself. Like that goes on in the world. Like either like economically or something big happens in the world every eighty years. So they're saying in two thousand twenty four, all of this is gonna happen because it's like part of the eighty eighty years. Because mm-hmm. eighty years ago was I think nineteen forty four. That was the peak of World War Two. Eighty years before that, I think it was eighteen sixty four. 1864 or yeah 1864 that's when the the peak of the civil war started and that's when like abe lincoln was elected president again and that's when the civil war was like really going and then 80 years from that in 19 or in 1784 was like the end of the american revolution so it's like every 80 years there's something big that always happens like either in the world like that's like very like traumatic to history so people think that in 2024 that that's what's gonna happen and i don't know because i feel like we're always gonna live through something traumatic like yeah, our parents yeah. like our parents lived through like 9-11 and like the war with iraq and afghanistan and our great grand our grandparents lived through like the um like a, uh, so segregation segregation and shit like that great grandparents lived through world war oh. world war Two and shit like that so i feel like our ours i thought was gonna be quarantine was a pandemic and shit like that i think that was our big moment but i feel like there's gonna be another big thing because we really you know what's crazy is the world feels like that shit wasn't just two years ago. It three doesn't years, feel three like, years ago. It feels like it was like last year, bro. Yeah. It's like the years not, after. Not to me. It feels like it was 10 years ago. Oh, really? It feels longer. Yeah. I feel like it was like, like we're going on what? Four years. Four, we're going on four years now. But I just feel like the quarantine took like, or that, that time period took two years out of our lives. Yeah. Yeah. It did. Or, Kind of low key like three because the world didn't even fully open. Yeah, till like so recently. Like, I'm trying to show you. So like, niggas went into quarantine. I just turned twenty. Yeah. So like the week after, I was nineteen. The week after, we went into full quarantine. If COVID yeah. was out, yeah, niggas was nineteen. Week after, mm-hmm. 
And then I come, we get out of quarantine fully. Mm-hmm. Niggas just like 22. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's like life just paused real Life just paused. So it was like, damn, life from 19 to 22 is a big jump. Yeah. Your responsibilities from 19 to 22 is completely different. And it's like we never really got to experience like that, those two years two of life years. as two, a normal. Three, two, three years. Two, three okay. years of life as normal people because yeah. that's probably, you know, that's probably why some of these niggas are acting the way they are. Worse shit. Because they like, they're not really, you you think that's worse for 19 to 21 or six, like 14 to 16? Because think about it. Imagine you're four, a 14 year old kid right now. I think, I think 19 to 21. You think so? I think yeah. 14 to 16 is worse, bro. It, it might. Because that's like that's where you know who you kind of are. Like That's where you start building like your personality. So if you are the same nigga from 14 to 16, it doesn't matter. Mm. If you are from 19 to 22, it does. Because <laughs> life is more serious Back at those ages. Uh, but like, you don't think like 14, 16, that's like, the, that, like, that's like creating your building blocks of like your personality though. Yeah, but you still got time to where if you change or the person you are doesn't really matter. Because like after high school, that shit don't fucking matter. But I, this, this is why. Until the person you are after high school, that matters. This, this is what I think about it as, right? Mm-hmm. So like say 14, 16, 14, 15, 16, 17, whatever, that's where you get your personality. So say... Uh, 14 from 14 to 16 you're stuck in quarantine and you're stuck in the crib mm-hmm. and it's like those were the years where you're supposed to like learn like oh maybe I'm like an outside person like I get I'm like able to talk to people like imagine you're in the crib by yourself just playing video games all the time your person that personality of you would been would have been way different if you were never in there mm-hmm. you know what I mean it's like these kids are like different like they're like not like no I know people with like Gaming personalities, where yeah. it's like they're different socially, but like if they get on a game or on a headset on, yeah. they're the most comfortable. Jason, yeah, he's the most comfortable sitting down in his house with a headset, mm-hmm. but might feel awkward outside with yeah, a lot yeah. of people or people he don't know. So a random person can join the PlayStation party. Yeah, he can have a full on convo with you. Yeah, like he's known you forever. But if you're to be sitting right here, yeah. It's that's, awkward for That's him. just how he is. Yeah. But like, and I also, I, I just thought this now. I also think that's probably why nowadays, like, superheroes and like anime and like video games is a lot more bigger now because of quarantine. Because we've been watching niggas stream yeah, on the, on, from the cribs and playing video games. Like, that was our form of entertainment. Now niggas are starting to like it. Now you see like girls and shit playing video games. Girls watching and talking about superheroes and anime. Back in the day, they didn't do that shit. They sure didn't. They didn't play that no video games. Was- Man, that shit was a rarity. That's what I'm like, saying. I don't remember no girl playing the game in middle school. No, that's what I'm saying. They didn't play no, no girl, game. Like, but I feel like quarantine, like just because niggas had nothing else to do. The, you know what's crazy? The girls that did were weird. Yeah, they looked like, at them they as were weird. the weirdo girls. Yeah, like, it was the ones who wore like the hat with the ears on it. Yeah, like the little, like, little cat ears. <laughs> yeah, the little cat ears. <laughs> I know what you're talking about. It was them ones, the ones who wore like the socks. Oh, the socks mad here. high. It was like yeah. striped yeah. socks. Yeah, yeah the little stripe. Those, those are the ones who play games. That's bro. what I'm saying. So I feel like it's like, because it was quarantine, it was like we really didn't get to go. We was mad bored. Mm-hmm. Niggas just start trying new things. And now they're like, oh wait, video games are actually kind of fun. Yeah. And now they start, now niggas start blowing up off of it. Now we see more people. Like I never seen, like people be talking about like, I never niggas knew this much about like superheroes or like anime or like oh, video games. Yeah. Now it was like, because for sure these girls didn't grow up watching this. They shit. didn't. So they well, if they did, they didn't say nothing. They didn't say nothing. They didn't say nothing because I promise you, it was not really cool. It wasn't cool back back in the days. Bro. Or maybe it wasn't ladylike, and they had to be ladylike because yeah. they wasn't. They wasn't giving it up like that. They won, bro. Like they knew like the surface shit, but now you can ask a full conversation with a woman about. The Marvel Universe, exactly. In the movie itself, but it's crazy, hey, bro. That's what I'm saying. Imagine there was no quarantine, how life would be. It would be a completely different. I'm life. not gonna lie, life was busting though. Like yeah. shit was fun as fuck. Like you remember fun. that year, like that 2019 year. That's when everybody, everybody now got cars. Everybody now got jobs. Yeah, nobody really paying bills in the house. Like, mm-hmm. or you know what I'm saying? Like everything was fun. It was fun. Niggas got out of quarantine and had bills to pay. Shit crazy. I know. Niggas niggas are scamming and was <laughs> yeah, already in debt. <laughs> already in debt. Niggas like, started. 
Niggas trying to do the cash app scam and got like 20K in debt is crazy, bro. Crazy work. That's so wild, bro. Like, <laughs> no, nah, 2019 was a good, was might have been one of the best years in, in the time period. It I was so fun. It, niggas had to shut down the world. That's how it was. That's how lit it was. When you really think about it, 2019 was so busted. They had to shut it shut down. down the world, bro. All we did was have January, January. So it might have been like 2018 going into 2019. That was fun as fuck. No, no, no. 2019 we had that was a full year we had. It was 20. It was it was 2019. We we went to quarantine uh, March 2020. Like that's oh, what COVID no, started no, coming no, no. out around yeah, like right, November right, 2019. Right, but right, we didn't. We thought it was you're like right, Ebola. Yeah, I'm, I'm bugging. I'm bugging. You're right. Niggas thought that's what I'm saying. Niggas thought that shit was Ebola. He didn't give a fuck. Life was bussing. Hey, bro. That shit was great times, bro. That's what me. That's what me and Jay started doing. That's when we was going out. We was going out to went to Florida and shit. Yo, life was fun as fuck, bro. Quarantine. So imagine, just imagine how the world be. Imagine how the world be, bro. Where was I? Uh, I was, I was going down a dark path, bro. <laughs> I don't know what that means, and I don't want to. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to allow him to elaborate on I what was that going means. Going down a dark path, bro. So quarantine saved me, bro. I think it said quarantine saved him. Hell yeah. Hey, bro. I remember I remember we went to, we had a basketball tournament. We just went, I think we lost ECACs, like got second place in like PA. And as soon as we got back, niggas was like, yeah, that school just got COVID. Like, they had to quarantine. I was like, what the fuck does that mean? We was like, we just like, as soon as we left the yeah, day, that them, day, yeah. they was like, that was the end of our season. They was like, yeah, like, we, uh, that school just got infected. I'm like, nigga, is there zombies happening? I'm like, yeah, what do you we mean? Didn't, we really didn't know what the fuck was going on. We didn't, bro, we, niggas were saying like, so that was like maybe February, February something. And I remember quarantine happened like March, like first week of March, because niggas was like, yeah, we had to quarantine. It was like, was it? It was spring break. There was like they, they they extended spring break for an extra two weeks, and then they realized like, yeah, nah, we're gonna extend this for like the rest of the semester. But you know what's crazy though? I could use another quarantine. Hell yeah, nigga! I ain't gonna lie, niggas. I could. Oh my god. Ah, that that was a great. Hey, when I heard we might shut down again, for what? No, it was like it was like oh, just in general. Oh, I know what you're like, talking about. I think like two, 20, 2021? No, it might have been twenty two. Yeah. Whereas like winter time, people started getting sick again. Yeah, yeah. And they was thinking about cutting like uh, what's the name of it again? Um, shutting the world down. I'm like, let's hey, do it. Let's do, I, I, this is my I am man. Niggas did not. That's when niggas started making AI. It was all meant. This is all planned out, bro. I feel like everything is all planned out, bro. Shout out to them niggas. So real shit, bro. <laughs> Real niggas, bro. But mm-hmm. all right, I gotta. Oh, I got something we could talk about since we was talking about superheroes and shit. One mm-hmm. of the shout out to you, bro. I forgot what your name is, but one of the guys that watches the podcast, he said he gave us a topic that we could talk about. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to save the world. I'm a you. superhero. I'm going to save the world. You are going to take over the world. Oh, yes. So <laughs> you have to pick a weapon from DC, and I'm going to pick a superpower from Marvel to try to stop you from taking over the world. Which weapon are you choosing? A weapon? Yeah, a weapon. So it's like, it could be the fucking, uh, what's his name? The ring, Green Lantern's ring. It could be fucking... Uh, nah, I'm fucked. DC only... A weapon. Doc, Dr. Fate's helmet. Hmm. You, could have all, you could have all the Batman shit. That's a great... This is a great question, though. Mm-hmm. Uh, or I can I can let you pick for Marvel too. You just get you can get a weapon from DC and Marvel to take, but you only get a weapon. You don't get powers to take over the world. What would you choose to take over the world? And you got to stop me. I got to stop you. And I have I have a superpower just for Marvel. What superpower you got? That's gonna that's gonna be all right. Let me mind. go first. I will pick Magneto's powers. Like you're cooked. Who are you gonna pick? <laughs> yeah, well, who are you gonna pick? Are you gonna pick anybody? Powers? You pick Magneto? Yes. Look, you're fucking cooked. Versus me? You're who are you, cooked. Who are you gonna? What are you gonna pick? What are you gonna pick? I don't know. You pick Iron Man suit. You're I'm, getting smushed. I was never saying Iron Man suit. I'm already knowing. But, bro, you're fucking cooked. Who are you gonna? I don't pick? know. But if Magneto is this, who you? Nah, that's not that. I, I, there's more. No, you're done. You already said Magneto. You're cooked. <laughs> Fuck. I can't think of nobody though. Fuck. Cause even with uh, the helmet from uh, Doctor Feet, you could just crush that shit. But I don't know if that's metal though. Yeah, it might be some magic. Still, I feel like I'm. You're not. I don't think I'll let you. I don't think you are taking over the world with Doctor Feet's helmet. 
nigga, I'm going to confuse the fuck out the world. Of doing what? I don't know, bro. Showing niggas they fake, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah, nah. I'm going to show niggas they fake, nigga. Nah. First of all. <sighs> oh, man. Nah, I could definitely kill you if I'm if I have Magne- Magneto's powers. I don't think so, bro. I'm nigga, trying I- to think of like a the suit that Batman used to fight Superman. I could get crazy in it though, because the suit had him just as strong as bro. Okay, was it metal? You're There's a cooked. possibility that that it wasn't metal, but it was a uh, like plastic. I, what the I, fuck? That shit was metal though. I'm fucked. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Um, nigga, I was either I was gonna I pick. Fuck, I got I got to use magic. You can use magic. It has to be magic. So, damn, but you, that's powers though. Nah, I mean, I mean, I'll go with te- the ring. I'll go with the Green Lantern ring. Technically, the the magic stone. That's not. It's it's a weapon. I'm, I would count that as a weapon. I wouldn't count that as like a, like a like the Infinity Stones, whatever. Oh, I I could use the Infinity Stones. Nah, actually, that's kind of cheap. That's op. If you want to play that fuck. game, that's op. I was trying to avoid that shit. How how the fuck am I supposed to save the You're world? You're fucked. If if but if I use Infinity Stones, you fucked. What what stone would you use? Nigga, every one I'm going to use. The... Okay, not the gauntlet. Gauntlet's <laughs> crazy. <laughs> I'm going to use. Nah, the gauntlet is <laughs> OD. Nigga, I'm get crazy. All right, you gonna you gonna pick Green Lantern's ring to make it balanced because you want to say Magneto, nigga. You're fucked. All right, what if I pick um uh Wanda, Scarlet Witch? Then I gotta go with Iron Man suit. You think you could take over the world with the Iron Man suit? Hell yeah. No, you cannot. First of all, Jarvis, I'm going to just start saying shit in all the suits. If I bring in all the suits. <laughs> nah, there's no. I'm going to bring in all the suits. I'm going to send I'm gonna send the, um, the what's the name suit to to Africa. Nigga, I'm going to take over Africa. <laughs> and I'm going to send another suit to, to, to South America. Take it over South America. Bro, like. I could literally create a whole like fucking, what's that shit called? Reality, and you won't even know about it. But I'm gonna have a different suit in every reality. Nigga, like you would think you're taking over the world, but really, you just in your chair. Fuck it. As long as I'm feeling like I'm doing something. Nigga just wants to feel like he's taking over the <laughs> yeah, world. He's not, no. Nigga just in the chair going like this. Because that's, nigga, that's what every villain wants at the end of the day. So you just feel like they're doing something. So I, but I won. So though. within my reality, now nah, you didn't win. How? I won in here. Oh, you won. This nigga, <laughs> yeah, bro. No. Honestly, really what the shit about, bro. bro. Even if I had fucking, if I had Hulk's powers, I think I could take, I can stop Maybe you from you're that shit. Fucked. I if I gonna, had Hulk's powers, I'm gonna be on. I, you know, it's crazy. I was thinking about this shit in the car. What? And this is my question to you: What heroes, right? Do you think you, base base Darius, could fight and take like and, and win? Myself? Yes, base what, Darius. Heroes? Right now, you right now, Darius level one, like. Can I get help or is it just nigga? It's you. Just one me? on one, like who you? Who can you beat up? Oh, uh, hold on, hold on. Can it be women? Oh, you're crazy. nah. You <laughs> 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 well, look at us. <laughs> it's all jokes, people. Yes. Right? Again, <laughs> if they're a hero, you say. Um, I think I could beat um. Nah, Scar. Uh, what's his name? I was gonna say Scarlet Witch. Nah, she's killing me. Black Widow killing me. Um, Black Widow's killing you. All right, go ahead. Uh, <laughs> I, 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 um, I did not say nothing. I can, I, can t- I can pick DC too. Everybody, any hero, bro. It could um, be from the fucking boys. The boys, like. The boys? Oh. Anybody. Any hero. They, they don't if, count. Nah, I lie. They don't count. I'm about to say, DC if it's the boys, yeah. I'm picking that, that fish nigga. <laughs> I'm beating his ass, bro. <laughs> that nigga DC, sucks. Nah, DC Marvel. DC Marvel. DC Marvel. Um, the only person I'm thinking about is that Bumblebee girl. Yeah, she's cooked. She's getting cooked. From the Titans, from T-Titans? T- T-Titans. She's getting yeah, cooked, she's bro. She's cooked. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm kicking oh, her. If she goes small, I'm kicking her, bro. She might just, all right, she's just going to zap me. All right, ow. That's, but nah, she getting cooked. Um, damn, I got, let me find some niggas. Beast, nah, Beast Boy is killing me. He's killing me. Yeah, He's right. killing me. I think Beast Boy me. killing me. 85% of, of the world, bro. Yeah. Oh, my God. I'm trying to think because I, I can't fight. This is a good one. This is, oh, my God. It's a good Hawkman. One. Hawkeye? I, is Hawkeye? I thought it was Hawkman. Hawkeye or Hawkman? Hawkman. The one the, the one with the, the helmet and the, like, the little. Nah, he's going to kill nah, me. He's he can fuck. He can fly. What the? Can I get weapons? Can I get something? No, nigga. Base there. So you right now. Like, <laughs> you got to fight that thing. Oh, my God. Like, like, dude, they have, they have powers? They're them right there. What regular the fuck? Cells. How the hell am I supposed to kill them? 
I'll uh, tell you who I can beat. Who are you going to beat? <laughs> who <are> you? <laughs> Boom. I got a list of people I can beat. Who are you going to beat? I can beat the Hulk. Look. Look. Hit me up, bro. What's up, bro? Look. <laughs> Yo. The nigga is enlarged, right? It's not, I'm not having a fair fight with Khan. So now that, pause. Yeah. Now that he has grown <laughs> and enlarged, that means his man area is grown and enlarged. <laughs> So I already know what I'm going to do. Pause me now. This is pause now. Look. Now. I'm going to, you know, say, pause. Jab him up. <laughs> I'm going to give him one jab. Then it's two hooks. And then the final one is going to be like an uppercut, like a, like a, uh, hey, Hachi uppercut. So it's like a, you know, I'm going to jump up in the air and shit. So what so you're I'm, t- I'm really going to like piece his shit up. Pause. <laughs> so really, you're just fighting the nigga dick. <laughs> You're not even fighting because this nigga could be jumping around in the world. This nigga could be jumping and running at you. You're just going to... No matter where he... he If it's... Pause. If it's at large, the shit hurt more. You know what I'm saying? What? If shit like... Because he's at large. Bro, what is he? Like 12 foot? 9 foot? Like, like, like 12, 13 feet tall? Bro, he's done up, bro. No, there's no way you're bro, beating look him. look how tall the Hulk is right now. There's bro. no way you're beating him, bro. The Hulk look, is crazy work. Right? The Hulk is crazy work. Hulk you're is a- fucked. You're actually, you're actually Hulk wild. Hulk is fucked, bro. You're actually I'm wild. Be honest, the Hulk is fucked. Let's see how tall he is. He's eight foot one. Oh, he's fucked, bro. I'm saying he's right in front of you. He's running at you. How are you gonna hit his meat? <laughs> nigga, kick. If the nigga, he eight foot. He's eight feet. If he jumps up, nigga, you dead. I thought he was bigger than that. I thought he was taller than that shit. Cause I thought like I'm in my head. I'm thinking like he like. I'm thinking like 12, 12. No, no. He, he, like he's like maybe like at the, do- the door frame, like seven feet. He like a foot, a little bit taller than that. So his shoulder's probably at the yeah, door. If he grabbed me, bro, I'm going for the ball. I'm going to be honest with you. You going for the ball? Hey, yeah. real shit though. Yeah, I ain't mad at you. I ain't, I ain't, I'm not heading him up. But uh, freaking. Who else? Is, who else you fighting, bro? Green Arrow. He's crunching. Oh, okay. Green Arrow. I'm Green Arrow is getting cooked. Green Arrow. Green Arrow is getting cooked. That's a good one. Green Arrow. Nope. The other, yeah. other little bro with the staff. Who uh um fucking um Red Arrow, Hawkeye, Hawkeye. No, nah, Hawkeye got some hands, bro. Hawkeye is fucked. That that little ninja shit was cool. Yeah, he, that's not him for real. <laughs> nigga said that's you know, not him. That's not you, my that's boy. The, okay, you gotta be real. Like that's not wow. only you. Nigga said that's not you his gotta, body. That's not. That's really not his body. Bro. He's <laughs> he's cooked, bro. That nigga had a sword. If it's okay. a nigga, bro. The only nigga that I got, you know what I'm saying, is Batman, a nigga that got powers. And that doesn't have powers, that's that I can't cook. I mean, Iron Man if he don't got the suit, but like of course. The only reason why the Iron Man could beat me is because he could grab the suit and if he fly me in the air, nigga, I'm cool. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> nigga just I'm go drop you. I'm gonna go out panic. <laughs> <laughs> nigga pick me up just this and just keep going up and I'm panicking. <laughs> so <laughs> So I ain't gonna lie, like I ain't Oh my god. Yeah, I'm fucked. You think you could kill what about Red Hood? Not Red is it Red? Yeah. How about Red Hood? You think you can beat Red Hood? I mean he got guns. He do got guns. So that's the only way that he could beat me. He got guns. Robin? Shooting. You think you beat Robin? I'm I'm fucking Robin little ass up. Bro, for, first of all, Robin has been beat up a lot of big niggas though. Yeah. Like, like me, though. big dudes. Like you remember that one? Like Yeah, that, Robin be doing a lot though. What do you like, mean? Like he be extra- running flying kicks and shit. I know. Like you going you going Weave like what is your uh, tactics with that nigga? You just gonna grab him and fall on him? I, you know that's my tactic. I know, nigga, like bro. just grab and fall, fall like on that nigga. Yeah, I mean he probably you know a little. I think I could take Robin though. Robin, no. like when he first became like boom. So the Robin from the show Titans. Yeah, Titans he, or Teen Titans, the the Titans. real life show. Yes. Oh, that nigga. He's cooked. That nigga ass. He's that cooked. nigga is cooked. He sucks. Come on, y'all. That nigga I'm sucks. I'm show y'all. He's cooked. That nigga sucks. Now, another person, why it might sound kind of crazy. Go clip me, too. I want, I want to argue with you. Oh, oh, hey, man. <laughs> I'm ready. I'm getting this. <laughs> my mind is racing. I'm glad yeah, you said right, this. Yo. The nigga Shazam. I'm fucking Shazam up. All right. Look, if I catch Shazam, right? I before wanna... the nigga could say Shazam. Of course. Yeah, you're cool. He's cooked. That's that the same little thing... kid, Billy? <laughs> Billy is cooked. But I'm... Oh, okay, when he says she's in the dead. Look, look. <laughs> so this is the yogi right here. This is Nick. You grab him in the mouth. He can't say nothing. <laughs> he can't Shazam. I mean, you. I, there, there's, there's been times where I feel. Isn't that how he there's died? There's been hella times where I mean, he couldn't say it. 
Isn't that how he died? Like injustice. They they did kill him like that. The nigga just grabbed him by his mouth and fucking ripped him apart. Uh, okay, but what if what if he's already Shazam? You're done. I'm done. I know that. But I'm talking about before because he never he never pull up as Shazam. You're right. You're right. He pull, he up, pull as up as Billy and then he Shazams. <laughs> so you just gotta pull up. You think you're quick enough to do that? Yes. Think about it. I'm him. Yeah. Shazam. <laughs> look, 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 look how quick that was. I'm not coming for you right now, though. But look, though, I wouldn't, I wouldn't set it up like that. If I know I'm about to link, bro, to fight, <laughs> I'm coming from behind. Oh, you sneaking him? Yeah, you gotta sneak him. Okay, that's true. When okay. he Shazam, he turned into somebody different. Okay, okay. Bro, I'm already knowing, bro. Oh, uh, well, let me think. Batgirl, Batgirl's dying. Nah, Batgirl's over. <laughs> I see Batgirl get cooked by everybody. But this is my thing, bro. They be over there losing to people with no training. No training. Just hooligans. Hooligans. <laughs> and you think I'm, I'm supposed to be afraid of Robin? The Joker cooked him. The Joker has no background besides crazy. That is true. But I just feel like he go. I don't know. I don't know if you're going to take a kick to the chin, bro. Call me? Yeah. I'll eat that shit, boy. Bro, that shit gonna fucking hurt. <laughs> I know I'm not gonna be able to kick a kick to the chin. How tall is Robin, by the way? Let's check. Bro, the kid Robin, bro, he had Batman hip. I know. I'm Batman, Batman like 6'2". Which Robin is this? I'm talking about Tim Drake, bro. That's who I wanna fight. Tim Drake? Ooh, wait, hold on. I'm, I don't wanna fight Dick Grayson. He be flipping. I was me. talking about Damien. Nah, Damien, I'm cooked. Yeah. Why does it say... Oh, Tim Drake is 5'6". He's cooked. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, I don't want to fight Damien. Fighting Damien is like playing one-on-one against Patrick Beverly. Yeah. <laughs> he may not be the best, but he's about to give his full effort. I know. That's and f- he know what the fuck he doing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, cooked. I don't want no parts of him. I don't want no parts of that either. That's a good one. Tim Drake, yeah, Tim Drake in his ass. You play Patrick Beverly on one on one. He may not drop fifty in the NBA, but he know what the fuck he, he doing. Know what the fuck and he's gonna he go doing. hard. He go hard. <laughs> you don't want to play no nigga. Oh like you play God. like a nigga like KD. KD like, bro, that's a little nigga in my face, bro. Yeah. Patrick Beverly is him. Like, <laughs> he's here. You don't want to play him, no matter who it is. Oh my God, who else, bro? There's somebody else I'm missing. If we honestly, if we get the guns away, Punisher, nah, Punisher gonna kill us. Punisher, no guns. Punisher, no guns. No guns? I ain't never really seen him. Fight? I've seen him fight. I lied. But he ain't really. Can he be villains too? He didn't too? cause mass destruction without without his, without them guns. Can bro. we pick villains too? Every villain's cooked. Oh, wait, no. Every DC villain is cooked. I Poison mean, every, Ivy every, is every killing Every Batman. You. No, she's not. She, <laughs> 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 niggas go get seduced and, yeah. and it's over. Yeah, that is true. I do be getting seduced though. Fucking Catwoman? No, nah, I lost. <laughs> I'm trying to see what's too hurt. I lost. I'll be honest. Fuck it. I'm, all right, Captain Boomerang, done. That fuck, nigga's getting fucked. fucked up. He's fucked. Uh, Deadshot, no. He gone. No. Bro, I don't want to fight no nigga with guns. Yeah, bro. no. They can have a... And we're like, bro, what the fuck a Boomerang really doing to niggas? Like, bro, shit. That shit might just give me a concussion, but I can get up from that. That's like a punch. He, I don't think he can fight for real. He can't fight nobody. If he doesn't have a Harley Boomerang... Quinn can, She's cooked, bro. She's getting cooked, bro. She's cooked. She's getting cooked. Harley's cooked. Uh, King Shark, you got it, be bro. Yeah, King Shark's not, nah, no. Nah. That's crazy work. That's... First of all, what is even that? That's, <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy work. <laughs> I'm cool off, bro. I don't even want to see Okay, what okay. Uh, what else? Uh, what, what, are, what are the Marvel villains? Sandman? No, Sandman's killing me. Sandman's yeah. killing me. Green Goblin? Nah, I'm cool off that. Uh, I can't make Green Goblin. Like I said, any nigga that fly... I don't want to fight. <laughs> Yo, I'll be honest with you. Because if you just grab me and just go up high, yeah. I'm panicking and not lost. <laughs> like all the tough shit I'm talking right now is out the window because I'm in the air. What if the, what if the Hulk grab you and do that? He just jump. But Hulk is different though. Like he grabbed me. He don't have no suit on. Like I told you, but he's enlarged, bro. I'm just going to kick him. <laughs> this is this is what this is why niggas is now saying like we should stop niggas should stop podcasting <laughs> yeah. shit like this. Niggas, there's a big yeah. there's a big thing going on with podcasts that everybody should just stop podcasting. Yeah, there should yeah. be there's like a revolution cuz yeah. niggas is tired of what niggas got to say. This is the shit niggas is talking about. I don't give a fuck. Hey, fuck it though. Y'all niggas watching for real, bro. 
eight, bro. Oh my it's god, nah, Hulk is crazy. Niggas, I'm gonna fight. How 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 enlarged do you think it could possibly get? Like, <laughs> this is crazy. This is crazy work. That's a <laughs> that's a crazy question, brother. I ain't gonna lie to you. Like, I I don't even know how to answer that, bro. But <laughs> that nigga, bro, he grows into a large human being. Like his. This is crazy, Paul. <laughs> but the, the way that nigga grow, come on, sir. Hey, bro. <laughs> no, no, we we going to leave it right there. We got to leave it at that, bro. You can't tell me that shit not going to hurt that nigga. It would hurt that nigga, but it might make him, he might have, his adrenaline might be so high, he might not even feel that shit, You're, bro. There is not one time in life, no matter what you was doing, that if you got hit in the nuts, you did not feel it, bro. That's real shit. That is true. Even though, that's why, oh, uh, that's true. Even when niggas be fighting, you get hit in the nuts, you're done. You're done, bro. Like you seen that shit in the MMA when a nigga got hit in the nuts like twice in a row. <laughs> bro, you don't wanna you don't really wanna do nothing no more. Yeah, no. So like this one, his whole boom, his whole thing is anger. You get hit in the nuts, you're not even angry no more. So you're are you gonna what is your what is your fit gonna be like? You need like some good you gonna get steel toe boots <laughs> or Tim's. <laughs> Like, Tim's like Mike. you can't be getting that bitch with Crocs, my nah, nigga. No, you can't. You got. I might have to customize the fit. <laughs> so I might. Have, I might have to yeah, like have Kevlar and shit. Yeah, I might have to like come up with something that uh you know be lightweight but effective. Ah, uh, so you can like it's light enough where you can get as much in, and but it's gonna hurt. Yeah. Real shit. Okay. Some sharp or something like. <laughs> you, know you ever seen? You ever seen um the assassin's shoe? I don't know if you ever seen well, it. Well, it like, got like a, uh, it got like like a, a blade. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah you yeah, just go like this. You get yeah. that shit? Nah. That's a little too. Because it might... The pain of a cut and the pain of a hit is different. He got to get hit. Oh, he got to get hit there. Yeah, he got to get hit there. Okay. Oh, gosh. This is crazy work. I, I, hey, bro. All right. I got another question. So we talk about Marvel. So create a blockbuster superhero movie with two superheroes from either DC or Marvel. It could be from just DC or from just Marvel. It could be from both. And one supervillain that would go crazy. It has to be the Joker. The villain has to villain be the villain. Villain gotta be a Joker, okay. Because now now we gotta it's so much that we gotta do. We gotta think about what the fuck he's doing. Yeah. Cause it's some demented ass storyline going on. Like he just fucked in the brain. Yeah. Then he got the goons. So the superheroes gotta fight the goons. Yeah. So now we're gonna see our action. Mm-hmm. Um, so good plot, good action. Uh, he be having good ass monologues. Yeah. Um, so good actors play him. Good actors play him. So good actors see. play him. Two, two niggas to two superheroes. superheroes. That'll go good. It could be either Marvel, 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 <laughs> DC, DC, or Marvel and DC. I'm gonna go Wolverine and Batman. Ooh, Wolverine and Batman. It'll be a dark ass movie. Yeah, but the Ooh. shit'll look so tough. That's the I, moves that they could put together yeah. would be crazy. I, you know what? I'm a one up you on that one. I had the same thing, but instead of Wolverine, I had Deadpool. Batman and Deadpool. I feel like that because I feel like having Deb a little because Deadpool is low key like a dark character, but he's funny. And him with Batman will probably be some. I feel like <laughs> that's nah, good. See, Deadpool will unserious the fuck out the movie. Oh, you think so? Yes. But like, there's that's no a, serious Deadpool movie. But it's but they're good movies though. Yes, I'm looking for a great movie. Oh, you're looking for a great movie? Yes. If you put these two niggas together, bro, and well, they have to go get the Joker. The Joker is the greatest villain of all time. That is true. That's like that's not even arguable. Like, yeah, yeah, we can't debate on that. Mm-hmm. Versus Wolverine and Batman. It's going to be a gory ass, technical fighting, martial arts, super angry, pa- just angry, ass, angry ass, ass shit. Like, That's a good one. That's better. Because this is what I'm thinking in my mind. I'm thinking of a great movie, but I want it as like a way where. Because I was thinking of like. I remember me and Jordan was talking about Hulk versus uh, Wolverine. Mm. And then Deadpool was like sprinkled in there randomly. And it, it felt like it was like Wolverine and Deadpool versus the Hulk. And it felt like um you ever watched uh fucking uh what's that shit with Ice Cube and Kevin Hart? What's that movie? I forgot that movie. Right along. Right along. I feel yeah. it was good. I want like I feel, I was thinking of that as like a type of movie. Like I like I don't know who my villain would be though. Like I don't want it to be too. 
I don't want it to be crazy dark. Oh, the vibe would be like a ride along vibe. Yeah, I want a serious man and annoying man behind an annoying him. nigga with him. Yeah. And I feel like and then they just be fighting beating niggas asses, but I'm trying I can't think of like a act a super villain. There's usually like that kind of uh like uh, what's the name? What's the word I'm looking for? Dynamic between yeah. like Spider Man and somebody. Yeah, yeah. Because Spider Man's always playing and he's always at like a serious nigga. Like uh, yeah. Iron Man and shit. Iron Man, word. Yeah. So. But that's what I was saying. I was thinking like Deadpool, Deadpool, Batman, and then either I was thinking either Joker or like I'm trying to think of other villains. I'm trying to think of other villains. There was um. I would I would say I would say Dark Side, but I don't know if they will pull that off. But that would be a good movie if them niggas could pull that shit off. You and said Dark Side? Dark Side is hard. Like Deadpool and Batman versus Dark Side? Man, I don't think they could kill Dark Side. That's what I'm though. saying. But if they end up doing so it on some yeah, tough shit. Tough. Dark that would Side be... is elite. Like if That's you're looking I'm... for just but the only thing with Dark Side is you're not really about to get a good a super plot. Yeah. Like it's, you know, you, it's like a basic level, like superhero yeah, like you're about to get a good fight, maybe. Yeah, a good fight here and there. But yeah, that's what I was thinking. But because I, I was thinking about like, what like what other superhero movies do you want to see like them make a movie about that I they haven't done see, already? I want to see a good Teen Titans movie. Yeah, that's a good one. Because we all grew up on that shit. Yeah. So I do want to see a good Teen Titans, like a great Teen Titans movie. Like I think like we'll get one about. eventually, but it's gonna be like ten years from now. It's gonna be mad. You think so? I, feel, yeah. I you know if this DC project, this DC whatever DCU thing is great. I'm will be excited to see a Teen Titans movie. Mm-hmm. That, it just depends on how this nigga's oh, gonna shit. control it, bro. A the Green Lantern animations, yeah, is dumb good. The, yeah. the last one I seen was dumb good. You're talking about John Stewart one, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I would say a Green Lantern movie. <clears throat> um, I, I want to see a, a Hulk movie. I was gonna say I want to see a Hulk movie too. I want to see a, a good Hulk movie. Just mass destruction, bro. There was no programming. Like there was no good like for real. I feel like they never, they didn't build it up to give them a good movie. Mm-hmm. They just always had them there, just there. Yeah. Like, they, they never really. It. Like, they didn't give us our his backstory, nothing. Mm-hmm. I used to feel like, it's the Hulk, you know who he is. Exactly. And it's like, you give niggas like Iron Man, Thor, Captain America, Spider-Man, all these niggas. They, those are the four niggas they, they chose to get movies, but they didn't give the movie to the Hulk. Okay. Everybody loves the Hulk. That's probably loves why the Hulk. they was probably like. Everybody loves him in general, so they don't got to work too hard to make mm-hmm. a movie. That makes sense. But, like, imagine World Break. Imagine they make a movie like that where he's just destroying shit. Remember the remember the Hulk movie in, like, 2008? The Incredible Hulk shit? Yeah, it, was, it wasn't that bad. Everybody, everybody didn't like the one with, uh... What the fuck is this nigga name? He, like, he be... He was... Damn. He was biggest. He's biggest shit. Abomination? Abomination. Yeah, yeah. Everybody didn't like that shit. Why? I don't know. That was a good ass fight scene. You seen that but shit? You know what's crazy? So when we're young, our standards is low as fuck. That is true. But the older niggas be complaining about shit. Like certain video games and things like that yeah. that we enjoyed as kids probably got low ass ratings and shit. Yeah, because we're kids. Yeah. That's true. But isn't that who it's for? Yeah. So then they end up discontinuing some shit that we really enjoyed as kids because adults didn't like it. Real shit. Yeah, I mean, oh my God, that's a that's a true statement right there. Think it's for us. It's for we don't us. Give a fuck about these niggas. We not even tomato. What the fuck is t- tomato uh, ratings and shit? Oh, the the shit with the movies. Yeah, it's not kids doing the tomato ratings. Exactly, it's bro. adults. But you know, the adults is the niggas that's paying for everything. Yeah, so I like, guess. yeah, they're getting real technical. Like, oh, this movie didn't have this. This plot didn't have this. Simple shit. Man, that's bro. What we like. That's a weird. That's crazy. I didn't even think about it like that. Damn, bro. There's so many things that got discontinued that we could have had. That we, and we really loved as kids, like certain eats. Oh my god, my nigga! We love them shits. I miss them. I miss the fucking uh, tricks yogurt cups, bro. Bus. Oh my god, bro. The I'm... little, bro. Bus. Even though the little yogurt shits, the just the little, the little rectangle shits. The, I don't even think they make those like that. What the gogurts? Yeah, gogurts. I think they're not making as much. Mm. Like it's not like promoted as much. They used to. They, them shits was everywhere, every commercial, every day. Bro, I miss. I don't know if you remember the stackers. It was like fruit roll up stackers. Yes, it was like a little things, and you could stack. It looked like yeah. plate chips, but it was like a uh, fruit roll ups. Oh yeah. my god, bro, niggas, we really. Oh my god, there was so many. Dis- Hold on, I'm about to look up some shit, bro. I'm about to look up some shit right now, bro. I put, I put him on, y'all. Discontinued. <laughs> oh wait, this I can't spell. Con. 
continued um, snacks. Let's see. 50 classic snacks. Let's see if we are remembering any of these. You, the fucking cereal straws. Do you did you ever get those? I had them one time. Was yes, c- I did. I did. I got them once. Cereal straws. Buying that shit. <laughs> that shit was fake a waste of time. No, <laughs> it was a waste of time. I ain't gonna lie. That shit was a waste of time. What the hell is it? Dorito. Ew, guacamole Doritos. Nope, don't remember that. Nestle Wonka bar. Nope. I do remember the guacamole Doritos. I do, but like I didn't really eat them that much. Nigga, that, I, I'll never forget. Oh shit. I was at my. It was raining. Yeah, I was at my cousin's house. I think he was and, eating them shits, and I don't know what happened, bro. But I seen them on a commercial, and I was begging my uncle to get them. Like I'm like, yo, can we go to the corner store? Can we go to the corner store? And it was like, no. And they sent all the other kids to go to the corner store, and I could, <laughs> like the big kids, and I couldn't go. Yeah, and I was telling my cousin like they just used to gel off me. I'm like, yo, please go in there, please go get it. Like he like, hell no, I ain't getting that shit. No, no, I ain't getting that shit. <laughs> he came back. He said, show me the bag. Real nigga. You my nigga. <laughs> bro. Oh, I remember these. These little kudos bars. I don't know if you remember these. I don't know if you ate these shits because they got chocolate on it. But these shits, you ever had nigga, these? I ain't never touched that in my life. Nigga, that shit. Them shits used to bust. I, my mom used to give me them shits when I was a kid, bro, for school. I lunch. had uh, Yahoo. Yo, Yoohoo? Yoohoo. Oh, my God, nigga. Yeah. First of all, thinking, looking back at it now, that shit wasn't chocolate milk. It said chocolate drink. Like, I don't yeah. know what that meant, but it was good as fuck. It's chocolate water is crazy work. It was chocolate water. <laughs> nah, nah. Hold on, hold on, hold on. It chocolate was chocolate water. water. Is crazy. Damn, it was chocolate water. Because if you think about it, nigga, we was drinking that shit out of can, bro. There was a can. There was can Yoohoo's. There was bottles. Yeah, the boxes too. They had boxes, nigga. I love Yoohoo, bro. Oh my god. Hold on. What other shit? Fruitopia. Uh. Nah, I fuck with Fruitopia. I remember Fruitopias. What are, Starburst hard candy? They had that. I think they still got that. They don't. I don't think. I don't know. The the Trix yogurt though. That was the one. Oh my god, Trix yogurt, bro. That shit was so good. They don't have strawberry Gatorade. They had that. I. F- oh, they did have it. That shit tasted like Jello, bro. That's not nasty work. It was it. It wasn't my favorite, but like it That's was like nasty work. What Jell-O? you don't like? A Jello beverage <laughs> is crazy. Lincoln but it's like sipping on Jello is just madness. <laughs> but it's like, don't you like straw? You like strawberry kiwi? I love it. Just take the kiwi out. Crazy work. What you mean? Strawberry juice is crazy. Bro. Nah, that's not that bad. Strawberry juice is not too crazy. What? Nah. Do they? Nah, they probably do make those. We wilding right now. What? Strawberry? Nobody just gets strawberry nothing, bro. What do you mean? Yes, they do. You you be but so, like so, like beverage wise, if you're gonna get a beverage, a strawberry banana, strawberry mango. No, I wouldn't get strawberry like a strawberry banana juice. Like, yeah, hell no, I would never get strawberry, strawberry banana. banana. That don't sound busting. Nah, that shit. I don't think bananas could be juiced. It's like artificial flavor though. I know, but like that's what I'm saying. Like I feel like banana bananas can only be in like f- like fruit oh. smoothies. Yeah, that's juice though. No, that that's a smoothie, bro. It's juice. No, it's not. Bro. No, it's not juice. That's like. Iced. So you don't... What is ice at the end of the day, bro? Crushed up. Water out that motherfucker. But it, no, no, it's 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 solidified water. But I don't think... I feel like... I feel like juice should only be with fruits that could be juiced. You know what I'm saying? You can't juice I, a banana. I agree. You can't juice a banana. You can juice every other fruit. But a banana. You could juice blueberries. You could juice grapes. Like, the banana is the only one that don't got, like, no water in it. Like, you give me some... Like, you drinking banana juice? Yeah. No, hell no. I'm not drinking no banana juice. If it if it got, like... I don't know why she looked at me crazy. <laughs> if it got, like, a like a strawberry banana juice... No. Sounds busting. That just sounds like it was made by... I know what company... By doctors? Made, no, ta- like, tapioca. <clears throat> was, that, was that juice brand? Topico. Made? Topico. They, Topico make, be busting. Nah, Topico. They make those... No, Topico don't bust like that. I don't You're like to, I don't like Topico like that. When you guys be when we used to buy Topico when we used to go to trips, I used to be like, nah, I need like some minute made or right. some shit. You're not a trench baby, bro. That's nah, I'm not. <laughs> I am not. Topico, bro, that shit tastes like that shit too like thick, bro. Hey, bro. That, that shit was ma- crazy. That was crazy, but Wait, no. <laughs> <laughs> bro, I don't know. But I miss those days, bro. Going back if I can go back in time, bro, I would go 
just experience that one time, bro. Just experience those foods one day, bro. If you could go back in time, what would you do? What time period? Yeah. Oh, I'm glad you asked me that question because I want to tell you. So I'm going back into the 1950s just for this one reason. I want to see if I could make the NBA. <laughs> <laughs> I want to I'm going to cook the fuck first of all I'm going Yo. I'm going to the uh, first of all I'm 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 going right now them niggas in the NBA was playing in like their 30s and then going to the work in the factories I'm going to trial for the NBA and I'm cooking them niggas they not going to know what the fuck hit them bro mm. they going to think I'm doing witchcraft my nigga this shit I'm going to fry them with Bill Russell is getting cooked Wilt he think he get, he's getting cooked <laughs> he's getting cooked <laughs> Them, Bob Cousy, them Yo. niggas getting cooked. I'm gonna be, I'll be there. Let me be there for a year and just build up a legend, and then I'm gonna disappear, go back to where, I, back to my life right now. Cooked, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> cooked, bro. Yo, cooked, bro. Not if they don't kill you before you leave the town, nigga. Bro. I'm gonna start a revolution, bro. They're gonna be like lights. They're gonna see the first. I'm gonna be the first light skin they ever seen in their life. First of all, they're gonna find out where, the, how the fuck I was made, because they'd be like, who is this guy? They ain't never seen me before, bro. I'm you going to no high school circuits, nothing. No, like. straight to the league, bro. I'm going to find somebody. I'm going to find an open trial somehow, and I'm going to try out. Yo. I'm going to, you're going to, I'm going to be there. That's I'm going crazy. to cook. I'm, so you're not even thinking about no event that you would go back for your life. You said, uh, I'm going back. I'm going back to, to the league. Either that or, nah, this is wild work. When I say this, I'm going to say this. <laughs> I will go with my knowledge now. I need to go. I need to bring weapons, though. I need to bring some weapons. I'm going to free my ancestors. <laughs> All right. So this sounds crazy. Right? <laughs> I'm, go- I'm going to free my ancestors. It sounds crazy, but it's character building. <laughs> <laughs> so look, though. No. Look, though. No. Look, though. No. Look, though. No. They needed that to happen so we could. It might be selfish, though. What? So we could be at where we at right now. They had to have lived the lifestyle that they lived. Real shit, though. That is real shit. But like, I no, they they've lived that life enough. I'm not going. I'm not going to take out one of their kids. They're going to live a good. life. They're going to be in their thirties, forties. But I'm be like, yeah, you're done, bro. Your time here's done. Let's go up north. I, then you might not be here. I might. I might. Damn, I might not. You be might. Here. You might have moved something. In the that's that's too far back. That is too far back. You might have moved something in the in the what's the what do they call it? In the little time shows. Equilibrium? No, nah, it's like the other oh, the the time sphere or whatever. I don't know, but you might have moved something like the butter and like a butterfly yeah, effect. Your butter butterfly effect, and now you're fucked. I, I just hope. Like, all right, if that if that shit didn't work though, like if there was no butterfly effect at all, I'll I'll do that. But most importantly, I'm going back into the fifties. Mm. Going to the fifty, but that is, I mean. They gonna hate. They gonna make rules for me, bro. Yeah, I might. The league might it's be ass. Be like, no more behind the backs. Yeah, it's cheating. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's make gonna a, be mad shit. They about to make rules of. Hey, bro, I'm cooking them. I just gotta see. I just gotta understand, like, if I could do it. Mm. If I could go back in time, what are you about to say? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, like, saying. What I would do was, right? Yeah. I would tell myself hella information. Oh, like your younger self? Yes. Tell them, write it all down, keep this paper, bury it. And this year, go on TV. (laughs) And tell it? And tell it all. (laughs) (laughs) And then, now, it sounds crazy. Now niggas is going to look at me as like a... Genius? I don't know. They might look at you as one. First of all, there's going to be people that look at me like a time traveler. It's going to be several views. Yeah. People that look at me like a messiah. Yeah. People that look at me like a like a devil. People that look at me like a time traveler. Yeah. People that's going to look at me like a like fortune fortune, fortune teller? teller. Like it's going to be different views amongst this world. So that's what you're going to do. I just create madness. Just create madness. Yeah. Wow. He could have went back and tell him, like, you know, you can like bet this much amount of money that LeBron's gonna come back three to one. He said, nah, do uh I'm gonna tell you that there's gonna be a pandemic in 2020 and in 2019, you're gonna tell everybody that we're all gonna go into a pandemic in 2020. Yes. That's what you're gonna do. Yeah. Sick world. So now. But what if 
Okay, never mind. That that, that, that would change it. That is my way of gaining control of the world. Because now you got to listen to what the fuck I say. Wow. Because you're going to believe me. But what... Okay, but you have to be strategic now. Because you have to pick certain events to, like... That, that you know is certainly going to happen. Mm-hmm. Because like, if you say... It's gonna happen. Oh, but like you can niggas not may, niggas may not believe you until that shit actually do happen. So what? I, mm. You know what I mean? Because what if I start betting on games and I come out and say that? Then are they gonna try to take my money back? No, I mean if you say say you go back in time and you tell yourself like yo bet bet like you go back like maybe like twenty whenever LeBron won the finals and you told the nigga like yo bet like all your bread on this right now that they can come back and win. Like they they might not they might flag you or some shit. They might be like what the fuck you know. Or they might just because I know I know all the lottery people and all the niggas that bet and shit. They always track niggas like spendings and shit because they want to see like just in case niggas is cheating. Mm. So they want to know like if you bet like your whole life savings on on a crazy odds game and get all that money, they be like, "What the fuck? How you get that?" So they gonna they might check you, but if you, everything turns out, you should be straight. Uh, so progressively, progressively, yeah. but like okay, so are you gonna like create? Are you gonna have like a bunch? Give yourself a bunch of information. Like you have to have you have, in order to do what you want to do, yeah. you have to have so much information. Like you have to have a lot of shit, just so like they can see you. Like keep, it's it's still going. Would have fifteen things. Fifteen things. Okay. I you think don't want to spam niggas. You don't want to spam, but you also don't want niggas. You don't want to be without anything when niggas ask you something. What's gonna happen? You know what I mean? Like say say you go back in time right now, and. You tell him like, okay, all this is gonna happen up until twenty twenty three. Now he's in twenty twenty four. He don't know what the fuck about to happen. But like, now you lie. <laughs> <laughs> niggas just going jail crazy. No, hey, lie. I ain't mad at you, bro. No, you lie. That is where you do start. Now jelling. you start using words like possibility and maybe. Ah, there's a chance. Ah, Come on, okay, bro. okay, okay, nigga. So, so damn, I thought my shit was crazy. Nigga say he's gonna rule the world with that power. Oh my god, bro. bro! You already know I want to be a dictator, bro. That's not new. Hey, bro, I ain't mad at you, bro. Just rule, rule how you rule, man. All right, I got a question for you. So, would you rather, <laughs> with a week of preparation, try to knock out Prime Mike Tyson for fifty million dollars? But if you don't do it, or yeah, if you don't do it, he gets to punch you in the face, and you don't get no bread. Or just let him punch you in the face for fifty five fifty k. I'll take the punch, bro. You gonna take the punch to fifty k? Yeah. Hmm. I'll take the punch easily. I'll take the money. Fuck it, my nigga. As long as a nigga don't kill me, bro, I live to see another day. I got. 50 he might kill you though. He ain't killed other niggas that he's in the ring with. How but, you gonna kill me? I mean, but they're boxers though. What that mean, bro? Hey. Like they they get hit. <laughs> you know they get hit daily. Bro, I done been hit, bro. Not like that. <laughs> I don't <laughs> I know. know if you gonna get hit like that. I I've been hit, bro. Nah, I don't know. I get a week. I grew up all brothers, bro. I'm gonna cheat. Yeah. I'm gonna like wrap my hand up and put like like some shit on my knuckles. Shit not working. You just gotta you, you just gotta hit him at the right spot, bro. You don't bro. have the proper technique to even hit, cuz you're done. Okay, like, I got a week to prepare, bro. That you're not learning how to box uh, one of the best no, ever. He's not gonna. Work. I'm not boxing him. I'm just. He's just gonna stand like this, and I gotta knock him out. Oh, then you got a chance. I got a chance, bro. But if he, but if he gets, if he's like. Like he's like he has to be down for the count in like three seconds, but if he like if he gets up like if he if I hit him he's just like then he's gonna rock me straight in my face no. <laughs> for free. Cause look, if a nigga know it's coming, it's way harder to knock him out. Really? Hell yeah! I didn't like know. if I'm like this, tightening my my face and my, it might be harder. It might, especially boom. Say you hit me and I could go with the punch. What if so, I hit him so in the te- as you go? I could go with it. What if I hit him in the temple though? Now you gonna kill cuz now you knocking him out. That's killing him. So are we knocking him out or are we killing him? I mean, you just gotta be on that ground for three seconds for that money. I don't I don't think you could do it, bro. You don't think so? Nah. I see Man. your talent, bro. <laughs> I don't think you could do it. They can say he's seen my player card, bro. <laughs> yeah. They can say he's seen the player card. Nah, I'm trying to think, bro. If you really Mike Tyson, who's been my hit, hardest swing. Your bro. hardest swing. He's bro. still human. He's not I a think superhero. You can knock him down. Like, of course we're gonna knock him down. But he's gonna get right back out. up. He not he's not he's still human, bro. He not like you don't got durability. My nigga. Your hardest punch and <laughs> who the hardest hitter that he fought? 
Because he has been put down before. Was it? It was a random dude, wasn't it? No, he's been put down before. Holyfield? Holy, Holyfield was whooping his ass. No, nah, yeah, that, that's like, that's like, yeah, that's crazy. That's not even, a, the, the, the difference between me and him is really bad. Damn, bro. Oh, or get punched in the face. Bro, fuck it, my nigga. Bare hand. As long as he don't punch my eye, he hit me right here. He got gl- bare hand? Yeah, bare handed. Yeah, that might be bad. That gonna fucking hurt, bro. You might lose, you might lose a couple teeth. Yes. But that's what I'm saying. You gotta, now you gotta play it proper. You gotta go with the punch. So now you gotta time his punch. So you gotta time when he's about to, so you can turn your head like this. I might fuck around, knock myself out doing that dumb shit. I might go like, I might time it, and I, I get hit in the temple, now I'm done. Hmm. It might be too fast for you to time. That's what I'm saying, yeah. bro. That hook? Oh, I don't know. I think I'm going I'm to try, though. I'm going to try to swing at that nigga, bro. I'm going to try. I and don't know. If you miss, what he get to do? He get to what? If I, if, so if I swing at him and I don't knock him out for like three seconds or more, he going to get up and punch me in my face for no money. Wait, so the, but, oh, if you get punched, you get 3,000? Yeah. Yeah, but yeah, give me that bread, bro. Get the bread? All right. I'm going I'm to I'm go big, bro. I'm going to go big. All right. So... Can you, you have to try to survive these situations for 30 days for $100 million. Can you do it? Yes. It's on the run from the police. Hell yeah. For 30 days. 30 days? Fuck yeah. You can, I'll, what are you doing? Yeah. I don't think, I'm I'm too pussy. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to be mad nervous. I feel like everybody watching me and shit. What you going to do? You just going to live your normal life? I'm going to hide in plain sight. There's niggas with warrants that live their life regularly. Okay, but it's like little warrants. I'm talking about like you like number one. Yeah, I, I haven't played in sight. Like where? What you go like in like New York City type shit? Well, I might fake I'm homeless. That's tough. I might fake I'm homeless. They won't find me if I'm homeless. That's real tough. But I, I would just go to the countryside. Oh, in the country? Yeah. And just hunt, hide out in the fucking just hide out. You don't need much. Ain't no first of all, you barely got phone service. Real shit. Damn, bro. They still they still using cable TV over there, like they, yeah, the antennas, right. like they try and get right. That is true. Okay, I think I I think I could do that, but I might get I might get hold. I might get like I might get complacent on like the last couple of days and be like, you know what, man, I'm about to get hundred mil, bro. And then like and then I get like I go to a shop like a Walmart or something because I think I'm getting too cocky and they catch my ass. Like everybody on TV, everything. Your face everywhere? Not really on TV, but it's like... I'm changing up the whole look, everything. Like You getting a beard and shit? Yeah, I'm... Everything growing back. I'm about to drop 40 pounds in, in three days. Like <laughs> I'm about to do what all the UFC niggas do. Like, they be, oh, like dropping weight? Dropping weight, going to the tub, do the little shit with the, with the breath and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, Cheating okay. That's not too bad. All right. Now, survive being homeless in the most dangerous neighborhood in the world for 30 days. Easy work. No, yo, think about it, bro. Think about you in Mexico. You homeless. You got no bread, no nothing. You just living on the streets of Mexico. Like Tijuana, bro. Yeah. Imagine a gang come up to you, gang initiate, and be like, yo, kill this homeless person right here. What you doing? Niggas don't really do that. Like You don't know that, my nigga. Bro. That, Niggas might just randomly said just- in the world or in our country? In the world, bro. Nigga, if it's in the world, bro. Let me see. Everybody in that motherfucker damn near homeless, bro. So if I, if you go, <laughs> Nigga said they yo, got bad. If I go to a third world country, bro, we all poor in this motherfucker, bro. They so all poor, but they all so got... So what is we really doing here, bro? We all poor. Why are you killing me? Hey, it bro. ain't gonna make you rich by killing me. So, but you be like, let's let me let's see what let's, well, let's see what the poorest world poorest um well, not poorest most dangerous city in the world. What the hell? If it's see, a third world country, Quad Juarez. Located in Mexico. Um, yeah, it's all in Mexico. Tijuana's in Mexico. <laughs> they got Baltimore on here. Yeah, all this shit's in Mexico. So you're basically in Mexico, bro. They're going to see you, bro. They're going to be like, yo, who is this guy? He not with us. But yeah, If it's I, a third world country, I'm not afraid. You're not afraid? Okay. We all live in life struggling trying to make it. If what you think by killing me is going to help you, bro. Yeah. So you cool eating you garbage? Fuck, huh? You cool eating garbage? Bro, I ain't, I'm going to beg. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, I ain't eating no garbage. Yo. I'ma still have I'ma be a bougie bum. Like <laughs> nigga, I'm about to get some good eats. Like, let me get a little bit of what you got. I'm gonna be funny. Like I'm you know what I'm saying? Like you know the you know the bums that gel off niggas that everybody know? Like yeah. it's gonna be me. Okay, okay, okay. All right. How about you you're living in a GTA server for a month? You can't die. 
Oh, I'm fucked. Yeah, niggas nah. be killing you for anything. For anything. But like, say say you got like your weapon in inventory right now, like in GTA. Yeah, I'm still fucked. Yeah, I I'm got still... every weapon on there. I don't bought everything. I'm still fucked. Niggas, bro, you could load up. Somebody gonna fly over you and drop some shit. Yeah, I know. Dead. Niggas could just crash a fucking helicopter Talk onto me, bro. Unless Random. I just stay in the crib, bro. Or you could stay in the countryside. But like, no, them niggas kind of crazy. Still pull up over there. Yeah, bro. them niggas. little hillbilly niggas, bro. They be killing niggas over there, bro. Or you can stay by the beach. But now Bro, niggas drive everywhere. So if I'm in a server, right? So it's my human self been dropped in the server. Yeah. And it's players that are... Yeah, they're playing the game normally. I'm, not, I'm dead. You're dead? I wanna, I've I never, wanna ever say... played a game of GTA and not died. Online. Like for the... Like for... Like online, like in a day. Never. We and should... not died. That's gotta be a challenge. I wanna try that. When GTA 6 come out, we're going to try that shit. <laughs> Yo, when GTA 6 come out, like, we're going to try that shit. And not, somebody's going somebody to get bored and shoot you. Like, say you, say you with the bros, right? And they don't know about what's going on. You just They just join your lobby. Yeah. I used to just join niggas' lobby, kill them, and leave. <laughs> that is true. Bro, I used to talk to this girl, bro. She had GTA, bro. Yeah. I'm going to join it, kill her, and I'm going to leave, bro. Because fuck that bitch like... <laughs> I'm gonna join that shit, kill it, and I'm out. Like, all right, bro. All right, I. That's a, okay. So the last one is in a zombie apocalypse, but you in New York City. That sound fun as fuck. How does that sound fun? Because it just sound like a lot of bodies that's going down. <laughs> that doesn't. That sounds stressful, my nigga. Nigga, if I'm already in this apocalypse, bro, my chances of, of living is. Already high because you've been surviving. I've been surviving, bro. <sighs> what if it just had? Say <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah. There's no way, bro. That's you're in New York City. You in the hot zone, bro? Fuck it. It's hot. It's hot because I'm in the zone. I'm trying to show you. I think it's, it's crazy. Wow, I'm not bro. surviving that shit, bro. I'm dying in that motherfucker. If I got my weapon, my favorite weapon, I'm good, bro. What's your favorite weapon, bro? Dual swords. Bro. Dual you know swords. That, y'all didn't. Y'all don't know about that. Y'all Dual wasn't really bro. in the pot for yeah. for a minute, bro. Oh my god. I'm Listen. this nigga. This nigga delu- I'm not New York City, bro. New York City. Imagine thirty days. First of all, it's already apocalypse world. Everything's all fucked up. Everything's all down. You don't know where to find your food. You by yourself. Mm-hmm. There's so many zombies everywhere. There's like millions of zombies everywhere. Mm-hmm. You can th- you can survive thirty days. If they're not smart zombies, they just brain dead motherfuckers walking around. They're cooked. I don't know, bro. When they they all just gang up on you, bro. Imagine you sleep, niggas just walk in and then walk in on you, bro. They're cooked, bro. Niggas, is, they not running. They just walking slow, dead. They're cooked, bro. Nigga, really player one, bro. <laughs> Yo, nigga, really player one. Zombies bro. are cooked. All right, man. I got one last question. Then we can drink some of this apple cider for the new year, bro. Mm. So you must survive an attack for. I say you must survive an attack for ten minutes for fifty million dollars against this animal. Which animal are you choosing? A crocodile, a jaguar, three pit bulls, or a rhino? Crocodile, easily. Okay, easy. That was it, bro. <sighs> nigga, ten minutes with a crocodile is easy. No, it's not. Nigga, that shit light. Out of all the animals you said, that's the lightest animal. I'm picking the rhino, bro. You, nigga, is delusional. I'm delusional. That that's how is that sure. delusional though? First of all, rhinos don't bite. They're just gonna run and ram me. I can. I, I'm gonna just if I'm in a ring, I just keep away for ten minutes. Same thing with the alligator. No, but that nigga bites, bro. Bro, they bite one way. Okay, bite one way. Your arm done. What you good? First of all, I could pick up an alligator. No, you can't. No, it's a crocodile, not oh, an alligator. Oh shit! Crocodiles up, are big. Crocodile, I could pick up a crocodile too. You cannot pick up a crocodile. Yes, I literally can. How? Let's see how much a crocodile weighs, bro. Let's see. <laughs> Average croc weight. Let's see. 440 to 2,430 pounds. All right, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so, what we learned here is that this nigga... No. Bro, I could pick it up, bro. I might not pick it up all in one, but, like, I could tip a crocodile, bro. But why would you try to do that and not just, like, jump on his back? That's what I'm saying. Oh, so you're going to, like, what's, like, you going to put him in a headlock? I'm gonna grab the cal- the that's it, the calculator. Yeah, <laughs> you, you know what I'm saying? Like and just this, hold his mouth down. Just hold, not hold his mouth. Just hold his body. 
I'm not fighting on Rhino. Bro, they sh- you could f- bro, Rhinos. Bro, you seen it after I seen the Australian dude, I have no fear. What you mean? Oh, uh <laughs> Steve Irwin? Bro, he was in there wrestling with crocodiles, alligators, snakes, everything. I have no fear. There's no way that that man could do it. <laughs> but he's also a, a trained 150 pounds wet. He could do it. And me at six foot three, 270 pounds, running a 5'4". You tell me I can't do it. 5'4". <laughs> <laughs> bro, I'm just saying, bro. It's like a rhino. All they can do is just ram you. As long as I don't get caught in the corners, I'm good. I'm just going to run away. That's like It's like bullfighting. And niggas be crashing out, <laughs> bro. It's like bullfighting, literally. Mm-hmm. If, but if I can do, if I would like choose the other ones, it would be, it would be rhino. I'll pick crocodile next, then the then the uh, pit bulls, and then the jaguar. Jaguar last, cause jaguars got muscles, my nigga. You said pit bulls, three pit bulls. Oh, that's light too. Nah, but that's three though. You gotta worry about three dogs. I'm not worried about three dogs, bro. Pitbulls is strong as shit, bro. Yeah, and that bite pit, hurts. I got a pitbull myself. But yeah, I know. But like, you gotta think about it now. It's like you could probably survive, but that shit's gonna hurt. Like, First really, of all, dogs really is scary as fuck. So if you, that's honestly, I, I didn't even hear the three pitbulls. Yeah, I might change my answer now. But what if you pull up on a dog and you go after them? They're running. But what if it's like fighting pit bulls? Like these niggas is like hopped up on some juice or some shit. Like they like like they like the fighting so you dog. Trying, you trying to turn it? You said three pit bulls. You ain't say nothing about them. Bro, they are. At, they but they're though. attacking You're you giving though. Giving these niggas badges, bro. Okay, they're attacking you though. Uh-huh. So they're trying bro, to. You said we in a fight, bro. Yeah, yes, they're attacking you. Uh-huh. You're being attacked by these animals. What you gotta survive for ten minutes? Yeah, I'm beating the fuck out of them pit bulls. I mean, I'm I probably can too, but that's, I'd rather pick the rhino than the pit bull. You'd rather pick a rhino than fight three pit bulls. Yes. Because I'm telling you, all rhinos do is just rush at you. You just got to run away. And just don't get caught. For 10 minutes, you're going to be running I got some away. good stamina, bro. For 10 minutes. That's like bullfighting, bro. Niggas do that shit. Ole, but motherfucker. niggas don't bullfight for 10 minutes there. They could they could do it for a decent amount of time. Not 10 minutes. Rhinos type blind, too. First of all, I'm going to get the dog. I'm going to punch Punch them in the nose. I'm going to be chasing them. They're going to run away. <laughs> if you chase a dog, they're going to run. It don't matter what kind of dog it is. Bro, if that nigga is attacking when you. When a dog barks, er, run after his ass. See what happens. I promise you they run the other way. Okay. There's three of them. What if, he, what if he don't run? What if he don't run? What if he stands his ground? And sure, what if he runs at, at you first? I'm going to kick the fuck out of him. <laughs> Just kick him right in the leg. Oh, man, bro. Like my hardest punt. Seen Randy Orton punt, bro? Randy Orton was putting everybody out. Punting the fuck out of those. <laughs> I know the dog loves you, but oh my god, dogs. Dog lovers, they don't care if you kill anybody else. You touch that dog, bro. Yeah, it's over. It's bro. over, bro. Hey, man. Oh, man. This is this is why niggas don't like podcasts. Niggas like us, bro. But that's why you watch us, bro. We entertain people. It's not serious, my nigga. Fuck around with these niggas. It's serious, bro. I'll beat the fuck out of anyone. <laughs> All right, bro. You got anything else you want to say before we end the show with this apple cider, bro? Um... What are your New Year's resolutions, brother? My New Year's resolutions, you know, I don't usually have New Year's resolutions, but one of my, it's not really, I, like I said, like I said in the beginning, I don't really like want to change up anything. I just want to add on to stuff, like put attachments to my life. Mm-hmm. So I want to, one, I need, I want to, I want to stretch more because my body this year has been hurting like shit. Like my back, I want to like, like wake up and like do like, not like like yoga, but like stretch. I need to stretch more. I want to read more. I want to get into more reading. I know Tyrone gave me a book from the on the pod, so I'm a I want to read more, just so I can like I want to learn more things, and I also want to learn a new skill. Like whether it is like, um, better editing, like better with editing like clips, like getting better at editing, or if it's just like even a skill of like knowing how to talk to people, because as like. Like with where we're going right now, where this is a business, so it's gonna eventually it's gonna be a business. So we gotta learn how to, like, negotiate and like talk to people to invest into what we're doing. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So I feel like I want to learn a new skill of something like that. Okay. Yeah. How about you, bro? What you want to do? Um, 
I feel like I'm on a on the right track as far as my mentality wise, like how I'm facing on going into the next year. Yeah. I'm trying to get back into working out, lifting and shit again and yeah. eating better and shit like that. Because recently I just been freestyling this shit. Nigga like, just been going eating at four o'clock in the morning and shit. Yeah. Not even that. I be going to bed earlier now because now I work earlier. Um, ah, so you got to be up early and shit? Yeah, just taking like, because now I work a lot more uh, hours. I be doing doubles and shit like that. So when you do doubles, is that with more, like, the same person or different people? Different people. Oh, so how many people you work with a day? So uh, some, if you do a double, it's two people. So it'd be somebody from 9 to 3 and then somebody else from like 4 to 9.30. 4 to 9.30? Yeah. Damn, at night? Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah, bro. So, do you ever, like, have you ever did, like, a night shift? Like, stayed overnight over summer? I ain't doing that shit, bro. So, do you have to, like, have certain certifications for that? No. Or you can, like, be, like, you can have, like, you your, just like... You pull up, make, put them in the bed, and go to sleep, bro. Oh, really? Yeah. That sounds easy, though. You're getting paid to sleep. Yeah, but what you got to do with that person... Depends. To put them to sleep. If they need somebody there overnight, it's a lot. It's a lot? It's a lot to do with them. But, mm-hmm. yeah... Um, I would say focusing more on like myself. Like I feel like twenty twenty three, I put a lot of people first. Mm-hmm. So now it's like learning to put myself first and the things I want for myself first. Like Real not shit. to say like, be, but be a bit more selfish with my time, and my efforts. Mm-hmm. So you know what I'm saying. Like I said, getting back into the gym, back into eating healthy. Just doing doing the shit that I love, yeah. probably, like you know, probably join the men's league out there in South Jersey. Just you, who you gonna hoop with? You gonna hoop with like him totally. by yourself? Yeah, just pull up. Oh Nobody shit! Know me. Now that because now there's no expectation. Ah, yeah. nigga about so, to be nigga doing the Jakai shit, bro. <laughs> yeah, what Jakai did, bro, when he left. Yeah, no nigga. expectation. So I can either go in there and be Showtime UJ or center. <laughs> center UJ get hella bored Yeah bro. that's it bro I'll Just go there and be centered Nah that's, that's good resolutions though yeah, That's some good so, shit though For sure Would you like a double cup or one cup? Well, give me a double cup bro You know I sip drink bro Real shit bro Real shit bro So we got yeah. apple cider people This is just look, This is not alcohol We don't drink We don't like alcohol So this is basically just apple juice Jay you want some? You sure? Nah, he lying, but it's that drink. You see, I got my double cup. <laughs> see, I got my double cup. You gotta hold that bitch sturdy, bro. When you got a cup, bro, when you got your cup, fellas, my young, my young people, bro. If you got a cup on you, you gotta protect your cup like this, bro. Mm-hmm. You gotta hold that bitch. You yeah, see, you see the good. ninety degree angle, bro. Yeah. And then you sit. But you know, cheers, my brother. Cheers, brother. Twenty twenty four. Twenty twenty four. New year, new, new accomplishments. More journeys, new goals that we're going to accomplish this year. Mm-hmm. And just positive energy in general, bro. There we go. Amen, bro. Amen, brother. This shit. Bro, this shit not bad. Got this bitch from Walmart. Walgreens. This shit fried juice. <laughs> <laughs> this shit fried juice. Why this bitch crunchy? Like? <laughs> <laughs> he said crunchy. But you got anything else you want to tell the people, bro? Um... The word of the day. I'm going to start doing that when I get on the pod. Yeah. Uh, the word on the day. Word of, on the day? Should I do on word the day? Of, of word the of the day. But I don't want to be like everybody. So should I do word on the day? Word on the day. There you go. The word on the day. No, that ass. That's ass is fun. But the, <laughs> the word of the day is envy. Bro, shit, bro. Y'all should never. Envy is something y'all should never have in life, bro. 2024, y'all need to focus on who you are, bro. Mm-hmm. This is the year y'all could grow. This is the year y'all could go down. But you always got to remember, you got you in your own lane, bro. You should never worry about other niggas in their lane. So what? Somebody up right now, you're going to be there eventually, bro. There's, I'll always say, bro, there is never... It's his word of the day. That's what that's the new dynamic. What? I'm going to say word of the day, and you just going to start talking. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I like that. There's... I don't... Like, for this... Po- like, I always say, bro... I want to be at the top, but I feel like there's never a top, bro, because we there's no limit to what we could do, bro. That's a fact. Because eventually, you know, we may never get to, like, the top of the top, but, you know, as far as we're going to get, there's still going to be a good view outside, bro. We still going to be looking over, bro. That's actual fact. You know what I'm saying? So just enjoy the process, people. Enjoy the process, because at the end of the tunnel, bro, it's all going to be worth it. You know what I'm saying? Real niggas. You got any last words, bro? 
That's it, bro. That's right, the word of the day, bro. Happy New Year's from the gang, from the members of No Regulars, bro. We I'm different. They regular No Regulars, man. Gangsta. I'm going to go get it. Yeah. I'm going to go get it. Yeah.